Hey, what's up, Christina? I was watching that shit. You out of here. You out of here, Christina, you know? See what I was talking about? He's trying to get little information, little information, and then he's fucking making shit up. Then he's making you look bad. Like, how fucked up was that? And then he's banning people that are protecting you or fucking standing up for you. <clears throat> I'm good, I'm good. Just telling. We'll just listen. Just listen to the fucking dipstick talking shit. talking about he can help people he's only trying to help himself there's nothing that he could help he can't help anyone again this is this is kind of shit you do private not public i guess he just he, he doesn't understand that he just wants to oh look at me look at me 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 give me money that's that's all he's looking for. Gloria, good morning. When he started talking about the subject, he's tried, he tried to fit in, but then he's, you know, he's missed the know-it-all advice and everything. I can help you. I can help you. Me, me, me. I'm a life coach. The fuck is what? Hey, Mike. Yeah, but I see he wants to involve himself into everything. Like his Mr. Know it all. And then look, he's got some like short on this fucking video where he's saying to DoorDash workers that he, you know, he's got an advice that, you know, he went from this kind of orders to these kind of orders. Like, such a fucking fake fuck. Don't even do DoorDash. He says he's got a solution for people. Right, get the fuck out of here, you fake content. Unsolicited advice, exactly. He's like sitting there fucking judging you, fucking making assumptions. He don't know whether, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's a reason why you're not giving him all the fucking details. I'm glad you didn't. He would be fucking, he would be criticizing the shit out of you. 
like after you told them somebody you know what i mean like handicapped I, I wasn't surprised that he didn't turn around listen i wouldn't be surprised if he gonna come out and start me start saying that because he, the gentleman certain way you're trying to take advantage and fucking you're trying to you know leave you know he he likes to twist fucking shit you know he's a he's a fucked up one fucked up individual hey holly jamie what's up yeah that's exactly what i'm saying holly uh, christina he everything that you give him he will use against you if you don't if you if you don't go his way that's why I said, do not give him any kind of personal information. Don't contact him. If you're gonna, if you're gonna talk to him or contact him, do it through here. You wanna, with you wanna, you wanna talk to someone, go to Discord. Don't exchange no private information. Discord. You, you get, you get into a server, get into a room, you talk. That's it. There's no, there's no need to send me your email, then send me e e an, another email to my real email. Like, he tricked you sending you an email to his fake email. Like, what the fuck was that all about? I know, I know, Jamie. I'm fucking spoiled as fuck. I'm on my tablet. I can't. I can't play fucking. I can't play videos. Uh, Christina, check out Jamie's video. He said he just put it out. Same video, edited, but cleaned up. Nice. I guess the the snippets of fucking Eli doing stupid shit. Like the dude literally fucking hitting everyone. Goose, what's up, bro? Good morning. It's a I can't I, I just can't believe like the the dude just like forces himself on people like I'm gonna help you I'm gonna talk about this I'm gonna talk about your situation you got no say it's my channel I do what I want I got all the information that I needed I'll make up a story you know it's like what the fuck dude. feel bad for the one <laughs> he's definitely just using her just waking up nice nice Still, still making up shit about Roy, about his shit. It's like, bro, what the fuck? Eli, why is your relationship so unhappy? Every time you speak to your woman, it's like, with this, with such a disgust. It's like, ugh. It's like you're so disgusted. It's like you don't want to talk to her. It's like everything she asks you, it's like 
don't talk to me, woman. And it's like, bro, you're, you are like the biggest woman hater, bro. Like, what is wrong with you? If you hate women so much, why are you trying to help them? Women, they're, they're not really asking for your help. If you're such a fucking hater, fuck are you trying to help women? Go help here. Go help some fucking unicorns. They need help, bro. It's like you can't, you can't be disrespected. He said, "Oh my, I'm cranberry for fair." Fucking be such a big fucking guy. Yeah, dude. Listen, I can't understand that. Like, why is he doing that? It's like giving recovering fucking heroin addict some heroin. Hey, buddy, you know, not the full dose, just a little bit. Just so you could feel it again, you know? Like, what the fuck? Like, what's wrong with this guy giving, like, oh, it's not like real alcohol. It's not like, it's bubbly. You know, it's, it's bubbly alcohol, but it has alcohol in it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he just keeps giving her shit so she just doesn't fucking talk. Yo, that's that's fucked up. Like he he knows about alcohol and what that shit does. Like that's like the main thing. Like I don't get it. And he keeps saying it's it's okay. So is she like in real alcoholic or she's not? You know what I'm saying? Like, why is her body deteriorating? Is she just fucking old? Like, from old age? She, she can't be that fucking old. Maybe, maybe he's too fucking stupid in the uh, alcohol department. What, the thumbnail too? <laughs> What's up, Thunder? <laughs> Called him out on the other channel, dude. It was it was tough to listen. It's like he was sticking up for you too when when he was listening to Roy. He's all like simping for you, right? Like sticking up, saying like, "Oh, Roy's mean and blah blah." Rat barrel, rat barrel, rat barrel, rat. Sticking up for you, but then you got your friends in his chat sticking up for you when he's talking down to you, and he's like. Oh, you're white knighting. You're white knighting for her. You're white knighting. It's like, dude, no, they're standing up. They're telling you stop talking shit. And he hides them. It's like, what? Oh, are they supposed to fucking stick up for you? Big alpha man. Like, what the fuck? He, he's such a little fucking crybaby, bro. How are you going to call yourself an alpha? But what the fuck? When you fuck, you can't even take any kind of criticism. You fucking hide everyone. That that That's a fucking bitch move. For real. Yeah, he just starts blocking people. And you didn't even say nothing. What the fuck did you say when he's like, you're out of here? Like, that you're, you're, I believe you're, was your last words like, he's gonna block me too or some shit? Exactly. He fucking, like, how are you gonna rage because she don't wanna fucking go along with your fucking stupidity? 
you like sitting there making shit up about her. She telling you like, dude, that's not true. Like, oh, it must be true. You're not. You're just not telling the truth. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh yeah, when when he hides you, all your comments get deleted. There is a reason why he does that because he doesn't want those comments out there. When he hides you, the chat gets cleared. It's it would be on his screen, but in a YouTube chat, it won't be there. It would show up on the screen and then disappear. Show up on a screen and disappear, but. It will be on a screen, but. He might privatize it, he might not. <sighs> He, he hidden David too. David didn't even say nothing to him. He he just told him to fucking relax, be easy, basically. And he fucking hidden that guy. Dude hidden like five, six people this morning. Shit's crazy. Oh, yeah, of course. He edits some. He deletes shit. Listen, look, if you look at his... If you look at his channel for somebody that's portrays himself to be a any kind of fucking coach, any anything that, you know, that he's helping people, you look at his videos, any any of his fucking videos that in, that's on his channel, there's, there's no commentary. There's literally, like, no commentary. Nobody fucking, they, he deletes. He the, if if he left commentary on that shit, that shit would be negative. Fucking up and down. He said, "I try not to get banned, but." It, I got pissed. I mean, shit. It's uh, it's a little tough not to get banned. <laughs> Listen, you could you could say fucking hi and you could get banned. And I, and I told you the fucking dipshit is going to stay up all night and make a fucking and go live. I knew it. That's exactly what he did. He stayed up all night and he went, he went live. Hey, Red Thorn. It's all good. Sometimes people want to find out for themselves, you know. They want to... You know what I mean? Like, you obviously didn't know them. Come on, Ray, don't be stupid. <laughs> like, what What the fuck is white knighting even fucking mean? Like, what, standing up for, uh, for another person? He said, see you all later. Hey, Johnny, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
I'm just going to watch. It's like a two hour thing. I I have no idea. He comes up with these fucking terms, fucking red pill, blue pill, fucking white knighting, black knighting, horse riding, fucking, I, I have no idea. I'm assuming because uh, the only thing I seen was people, you know, sticking up for you because he was talking to smack. He called it your white knighting for her. Maybe he didn't want to say you're dick riding for her. Maybe that's what he meant. Yeah, he banned everyone that was nice to her. Yep. Anyone that stood up for her, he uh, he took advantage because of because it's his channel. <laughs> his way or the highway. That's right. How do you, what do you think, what do you think happens to Dawn? It's always Eli's way or Dawn, you, you got nowhere else to go, Dawn. Nowhere else, you, you know, I mean, you know, he made sure that her family don't like her and she's got nowhere to go. He's, you know, he got, he got that ass under control. He's talking about eventually we will marry. Blah 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 blah. I love her so much. Yo, dipshit, if you love her so much, wouldn't you get married like the very next day if you like her so much? Like you keep saying that shit. Like the more the more you say it, the more unbelievable it becomes. You know that, right, Eli? The more the more you're trying to make us believe you like something. And makes us more more believe that you don't like. All right, all that shit you're talking about. Like, who who would want a girlfriend that's a fucking drunk? Is that your that's your standard to you? Why you like you like drunk sloppy people? Or, or wait, 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 every once in a while. He's talking about getting married and then talking about his estate. Who cares about your estate? Why do you, why do you even have to put two and two together? Why do, why do we need to know that? Oh, she get married. She'd be part of my estate. Do we, how, why the fuck do you, do we care what she might inherit? That's not our fucking business. Why do we need to know that? All right, Ray, check it out. Christina, I give you permission. If you feel like, uh, you being harassed by Ray, I give you permission to hide him. Or or temporarily suspend his ass for whatever time you want. Don't be a fucking creep. <laughs> Whoa. You guys more than welcome to come up if you want.
He said she had to bet on that show. Would you stay up all night? David stayed up all night. It's like, how is that man learning from his mistakes? It's like, gee, you, you, you've made so many mistakes. Shouldn't, shouldn't you learn by now to be nice to women? Jamie, what up, homie? Hey, what's up, Mr. Flex? What's going on, buddy? Not much. Got an early start today. Um, had no idea he'd be streaming this early. I just guess I just got lucky. Yeah, no, it was just random. I I woke yeah. up, I, I refreshed my page, I see in the moves was live. I'm like, oh shit, this guy. And yeah. he was he was talking that smack. Yeah. Uh you know, when you think about it, uh what part of the country do you live on? I'm in New Jersey. Yeah. Uh I'm on the East Coast as well. So he did this live at like six AM Eastern, which means it was three AM when he went live. Oh, yeah. That's not normal, even on the West Coast. You know, like, he should have been in bed by them. His sleep schedule is all fucked up. That's because there was so many lives going on about him. He, you know, he, he can't. He needs, to, he needs to observe every single one of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is, he has so many different patterns that it, once you keep track of what he, of his actions, you can kind of um kind of remember them like for example sometimes when he plans a live stream um well first off he's always late let's get that out of the way he's always late every single every fucking single time, fucking time. It, and it, without... he gave dawn shit on christmas for taking a phone call and compared to the fucking corporate world yeah like he he might as well like just set his streams for like an hour after he intends to set it you know like if he wants to set it for four just set it for five because you're not going to make it you know don't even bother um but see this is also sometimes what he does like if he's in a stream it's especially about like if he feels paranoid he slips into these paranoid modes sometimes right um and he senses people are going to restream him he'll like delay his stream for as long as possible um, so that he can uh, outlast the live the the um, the restreamers, right? So if he wants to stream at let's say like 11 p.m. Eastern, uh, he'll wait and he'll keep people waiting until 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., sometimes 3 a.m. just He's to make to sure no one can that, time, that time zone. J just so no one can restream him, right? Yeah. Fuck his audience. Fuck anyone who actually wants to be there for a show. He just doesn't want to be restreamed, right? That's the only thing he cares about. He's such a child. Like me, yeah, I've been restreamed so, so many times and I don't even care. You know, if that's the case, why not just do a fucking pre recorded show and put it out there? You'll get all the watch hours, right? That he's looking for. Right. Right. Just put a pre recorded. Don't even deal with the chat. He can't handle any anyone in the chat. Like that's why the, the chat's like on slow mode and he has so many blocked words and he's, there's like a million blocked people. He cannot handle anything, <laughs> you know? He can't handle any kind of criticism. None, none at all. Zero. Not even like a little mild little, you know, dig or like a sarcastic comment, nothing. And how is he gonna call himself manly when you can't like- How is he gonna call himself a coach? Yeah, like he can't. How do you coach if you can't handle a family. comment in a chat box? <laughs> it's fucking crazy. You know, like there he has zero qualifications. And then we we we've grilled him for years. Like, so then how are you a life coach? How can you coach people if you can't handle such and such and such, right? And he never has a satisfying answer, you know. He thinks he he can be a life coach just simply because he insists, because he says he can be a life coach. Hey Jen. Jen. Eh? Jenny's been dealing with Eli a long time. I'm sure you know. Oh, yeah. 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 Last four years. Yep. We put your right man, Jamie. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's probably going to talk about this at some point. He's probably going to be like, yep, yeah, yeah, Jamie, I thought you were on uh, Mr. Flex's channel. Okay. You, you were on <laughs> his, his panel. And, um, and you're trying to turn him into Coach Eli Hater channel. Okay. I see what you're doing. You're trying to do your your your, your uh, instigated drama content. 
It's more like a Eli warning channel, not a yeah. hated channel. It's an Eli that, warning channel. That's the funny thing, right? Like everyone who he comes in contact with ends up having the same story about him sooner or later. Because he uses the same tactics every time. Every time he forces himself on someone to try to network, you know, or to coach them. Like this to morning, to morning. Wow, I need some sleep. Uh, this morning was that is like classic Eli, like overstepping his boundaries and trying, like inserting himself into a situation he has no right to get into, you know. And just saying the most insulting things to Christina and her husband, um, who honestly, whatever her issues are or with her husband are none of any of our fucking business. None, especially not Eli's. Eli, you did not get any consent from this woman to talk about her personal business. That was completely no. unprofessional. Okay. You know, and then it's not even a, a high bar that we're asking for. We're not even saying give good advice. At least just get consent before giving your shitty advice. You didn't even get that. She did not ask you, Eli. Like, if she wanted your help, she would go ask for your help. She didn't. Know what I'm saying? It's very simple things that he could be doing to to curtail this whole, you know, hater sentiment, but he, it's because he's so disrespectful, you know, and unprofessional. I, I love, do you know, he used, used to say this one phrase a lot, like respectfully, maturely, and professionally, none of which he is, right? He says that all the time. It's a joke. Never he, once. He, Never he's once. None of those things. <laughs> not professional, not mature in any way, and not respectful at all. Yeah, he's a public figure, MK. I mean, listen, the one point I'll give him, the the one point I'll give him, just to be objective, is if she talked about this stuff publicly, um, that gives him the right to talk about it publicly, which that's exactly. about the only point I'll give him, which is true about anybody. If you talk about something publicly, that gives other everyone else, you know, carte blanche to talk about that same stuff, right? That you because you put it out there. Now, so, can you can you add shit in on? In that make, sense, I would just say be more protective of your information. You know, don't don't say anything that you don't want this guy to use and run with. Just don't do that. You know what I mean? He made up a bunch of shit. You know what I mean? Like off of what she said, he just like added on like his own fucking you know thoughts. What yes. could have, might have, and, and he projected possibly. everything oh. that he. Oh my god, dude! It, okay. I need to show you something. Okay. Here, well, Christina, stay right there. I'm going to show you all something because th this is exactly what Eli did um, to Christina today. Just listen to this. Um, I got to say, honestly, folks, I'm not in the best of moods uh, today. Um, what I'm going to be discussing here tonight has been uh, building up for quite some time. I'm a human being and I'm a guy, but I have fucking feelings too. Even strong, confident men have feelings too. Just because I'm a coach doesn't mean I'm immune to going through shit. And anyone that thinks otherwise can go sit and fucking spin. Now people, again, are going to assume that there's trouble in paradise with my activity partner or something like that. That's definitely not the case. And the one thing that really gets to me the most is when people lead me on to believe that they're being genuine and then they flip the script. One minute, 37 seconds later. But this all stems back to the Civil Rights Act of 1964, where women were liberated. And women started getting the same equal rights, or the same rights that men have always had. Women got equal rights. That's the reason why, you know, with my activity partner, I haven't gone to that level. There's still platonic. <laughs> I haven't talked a lot about it lately because she's been busy going to school and working, and then she's spending time with her family. I start making effort for a woman. I start doing all these nice things, being a good guy, not a pussy, but being a good guy that, mm. that they claim they want. And then they fucking just walk the fuck out. Oh, wow. you know, feminism is destroying society. It is like, I've had friends of mine that to this day still share stories that, yeah, dude, I was dating this, this, this chick for a year. And this woman, one night they were in bed and she just got up, left. And then never <laughs> came back, never called, never, never texted anything. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And I thought they had a great relationship. 
He treated her well. He's, he's a competent dude, good looking guy, great job, everything, right? And I said, you know what, dude? She probably got a text or something and you know, she, she probably had a replacement lined up. Monkey branching is what, what the MGTOW community calls that. What feminism has done, it, it's given women artificial power, artificial masculine power that is outside of their natural essence, and it has devalued masculinity. <laughs> and it's funny, these people say, like, you know, there are women out there, they say, oh, yeah, I want a relationship. Yeah, you know, I'm looking for a good dude. Oh, yeah, I, I have time to date, right? You hang out with them, and then they're like, well, I'm not going to be available for the next three weeks. Why is that? Well, you know, I'm working overtime at work. So what does that mean? What does that mean? What if we were married? Would our marriage be put on hold for three weeks because you're fucking working overtime? You can't balance your work and your personal life? You, you ladies fought for equal rights, right? So we gave that to you. Now you're working, and you also want the relationship, but you want to dictate when the relationship is on and off at your disposal, and you're not taking our feelings into consideration, right? No, 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 it doesn't work that way. It's a two-way street. And let me tell you something. You can play your cards 100% right with a woman, and she can still get the fuck up and walk out any minute. And they'll do it. That's what they do, bro. You could be with a woman for 20 years and do everything 100% perfect. Right? Perfect. You breathe wrong, she, she'll get up and walk away. Now, that's an extreme example. But I think you know what I'm saying. With women, women don't give you time for good credit. They don't. It's not like jail where, okay, you know, you get credit for good behavior, right? They might they might release you a little bit earlier on your, on your sentence, right? But with women, you don't get any credit for all the good things you've done if you make one small honest mistake even after 20 years they might leave you e even if you don't breathe wrong even if you're just laying there all cool and shit they'll just get the fuck up and leave that's what they do and then once they reel you in and get you sucked in emotionally that's what my that's what my ex the veterinarian did to me she reeled me in got me to tell her i love her and then boom <laughs> i met some nice women in the past and I'd get along with them, and they were cute, and they were nice, and they seemed very reputable. But then there's, there's another issue when you meet a woman like that. Then they say, they say, well, you know, I don't sleep with anybody right away. You know, it typically takes me a few months before I consider sleeping with somebody. And I'm like, if you're going to put a stipulation on the natural flow of progression, then I'm out. I'm not going to put up with that shit. A lot of women get pissed off and say, what are we, baby machines? What are we, maids? Are we, are we you know, are we, are we cooks? You know, are we homekeepers? That's what that's that's what God fucking made you for. No disrespect. So yeah, <clears throat> that's uh. <laughs> no disrespect. Does that sound familiar, Christina? Was that basically <laughs> the speech you got this morning about feminism and equal rights and all that shit? You know, which everyone knows feminism's played a part in. You know, our societal downfall and degradation, all this shit. But that's not the issue. You know, the issue um, with Eli is he just can't accept rejection. It's a personal issue. He projects his own issues. And he, and he does have a chip on his shoulder when it comes to women. He's He's been taken uh, by a lot of women in life, you know. So he's he's kind of has that trauma that he brings with him, which anyone who has even a cursory knowledge of like psychology wouldn't be able to like kind of work their own shit out and not project that onto other people, but not Eli. Eli projects all of his shit onto other people and says, cause he thinks that he knows best. He thinks he knows what he's talking about because of what he went through in life. Right. For example, if I stub my toe on like a, a table, right. I'm going to now coach you not to get a table. Because they stub toes. You know, don't get a table. They're, they're, they're toe stubbers. Don't don't get those things. They, they hurt. Never mind the fact that they have, you know, function. And if you don't stub your toe on them, if you're careful, you can kind of avert, avert uh, you know, any bad situations, right, with the table. I'm kind of being uh, hyperbolic here, but you get what I'm saying, right? Mr. Flex is like, he's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> Go on, Jenny. Oh, I just said my bomb. I'm like dying coughing. Oh, oh no, more. sorry. No worries. If the body learns on them, their self, on these yes. relationships and mm -hmm. 
if yeah. they think so. And it's fine for him to have a perspective on things and to have his own experiences. You're entitled to your own experiences. You're entitled to feel the way you want about, you know, things that happen in your life. But he also has he's to realize a, what he's a danger wants. to an online society. He's a danger to online society. Yeah. He's not he's not fit to coach. He could he could end up hurting someone if they don't know any better, you know, and they take his advice. Yeah, don't take my BS seriously, ladies. Okay. <laughs> they are baby machines. The last time I checked, only biological women can give birth. The question is oh, sorry, hold on, sorry. Robert, what happened? Robert, I thought I thought um Eli is your good friend. You were sticking up for him and shit. Now he's saying he needs a unicorn. He's a Momo. Come on. <laughs> this is the will Eli. What, Jimmy? He knows him since 2018, 2017. Pump the McTow. So six seven years, huh? Yeah. <coughs> and he never changed. Even the clips they show him at, before I met him, he never changed. He's very vindictive. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> Right now, he tries Sorry. to coach Christina, and he, now he realizes there's no shot for him coaching her. My my thing is, if he if he dislikes women so much, because he already he already knows he's gonna have a problem with the woman that he's speaking to or he's trying to coach. Why even why even try to coach a woman? If he if he's so against women, makes no fucking sense. Because whatever the fucking coach he said, why so many women dislike coach whatever fucking Wayne whatever, um, because because whatever you say he's real or, so he's trying to be the same. So he dislikes a lot of women dislike him and or he dislikes a lot of women. <laughs> Because he's a jerk. Yeah. He wants a woman that is like a 1950s housewife. So, clean house, food on table, and yada, yada, yada. So. Robert, why are you getting disgusting in a chat like that? Cyber screw, what's up, bro? <laughs> Man can lactate. Um, I believe so. Eli be leaking like a motherfucker. So, oh, waiting for the eclipse, alien. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, like six hours. Yeah, ours is um, <laughs> between two and four this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to give Jay a call. Maybe we could smoke a blunt in his backyard. Yeah, we watched one of the either lunar or solar eclipse from his backyard. I think it was the solar one. No, I mean, which which one is that where the uh, the moon covers the sun? Make the lunar. 
Mm. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Lunar. We see you just like Eli. You'd be making shit. You'd be making shit up on the spot as well. Too much. Yeah. You're too fake for that. Why do you even like hang around here, bro? It's weird bro <laughs> I right, give real robbery in out of here come on two and two He doesn't understand people with medical issues. He's I'm sure. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he understands everything. He just he's what? just a snake of a person. He knows. He's not stupid. He knows a lot of things. He it, does, but he's ex. He 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 just chooses to do to do wrong. He knows it's wrong to give his woman alcohol, any kind of alcohol. He knows it's wrong. He does it for whatever the reasons that he does. But he absolutely knows that is wrong. If he, if she wants help, she needs to stay far, far away from any kind of alcoholic beverage. There should be no alcoholic beverage in his house whatsoever. Not even a fucking whiff. Like, he should know that. But he uh, he chooses he chooses obviously opposite. It's his choice. It's his choice at the end of the day. He's the one that gets to say, "I bring that shit home or I don't," because she don't she don't drive, she don't go out. She's stuck whatever in in a house in a basement whatever the fuck she is being watched by 15 fucking cameras that's fucking yeah. looking at him. He's paranoid. So, what in cameras in bedrooms? That's way too far. He's 100% enabler, Jack. He enables that shit. Maybe, listen, maybe that's his way to, you know, to get rid of her. Instead of, like, trying to kick her out on the street. Just slowly fucking get rid of her like that. You know what I mean? That's fucked up. Because organs eventually failed so yeah he has bacon on dance money <laughs> only got my money if Dawn had money, Dawn would have left. Dawn would have been chilling in her own apartment, fucking drinking herself in a fucking tub. So don't be spreading rumors there, Robert. Oh, right, yeah, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? Uh, um, Jenny here, so. Huh? Jenny here. Oh, Jenny, Jenny. Jenny. Uh, I'm, I, I just woke. I, I I woke up about an hour ago, so I'm still I'm still trying to get. 
Uh, yeah, we, we got Mr. Flex, Jamie, and Jenny. Oh, hey, Jamie. What's up, man? He's on the phone. He's on the phone. Oh, oh Jamie's on? Okay. Um, Mr. Flex, as y'all know, uh, Real Talk Christina had a stream last night, and yeah. um, I'm going to be interviewing her tonight um, at 8 p.m. Eastern on my channel the rj cool. sanifer channel so awesome. i'm going to be interviewing her and uh hopefully everything goes well and i i did listen i did listen to uh a little bit of uh the, the stream last night uh with with her and i did see the messages that uh that eli put in the stream and i i want to say this okay and i and i want to say this in a way that is respectful when someone tells you that they're not interested in doing pre-recorded videos you should respect that okay you, you know, as the interviewer the interviewee needs to feel that they can feel comfortable with you and when when uh christina said what she said and she said that she wasn't interested i said okay I, I said to myself, all right, I'm going to ask her if she'll do one with me. And, you know, since she likes live streams, I'll just do a live stream. And so I asked her and she agreed. So that's how that's how it's done. You know, you have to you have to do what makes the person feel comfortable. RJ, did you uh, did you watch the stream this morning of Eli's? Did you listen? I up? haven't really had the chance to. Um, you should. Mm. He actually banned. He has hidden everyone, including Christina, on his channel. Wow. Everyone that was uh, standing up for Christina, because he mm -hmm. was literally making stuff up, putting her mm -mm -mm. down. Wow. And every, everyone that was standing up for her, he hidden. Wow. That is so unprofessional. You, that is very unprofessional. Correct. And, and, I, and I'll say this. I'll say this. Um, if uh, see, this is the thing, and and I, as y'all know, I have degrees in theology, and and I've had experience, you know, preaching and and being being a minister and stuff like that. There's a lot of things, um, especially when you're doing counseling with somebody. That is confidential. Even if they exactly. would say, you know, yeah, RJ, you can talk about this. I there's stuff that people have told me in confidence from years ago, before I even got onto YouTube, that I have not even talked about. And you know, if you're gonna say that you're gonna be a life coach or a minister or a therapist or whatever, you have an obligation to observe confidentiality. And that's how I feel about that. So for Eli, and you know, and I'm saying this respectfully, to discuss Christina's marriage in the way that he's doing so not only violates her confidentiality but it violates the confidentiality of her husband now i don't know the whole situation i don't want to know the whole situation it's none of my business okay it, it's it's not my business her marriage is between herself and her husband and they need to work on their problems Okay, it, it's not for us on YouTube to get involved. Okay, that's between her and her husband. Amen. And that's what I'm going to say about that. And my advice to Eli would be to move away from that, would be to move away from talking about it because it's none of your business. It doesn't have anything to do with you. If they don't want your help, you shouldn't try to force the issue. It's not a good idea. It's not a good look. And if you want to, you know, if you want to be a successful life coach, you've got to learn when it's a good idea to talk about something and when it's not. Mm -hmm. And that's that. Those are my thoughts. 
R real quick, I just came up for a quick moment here. I just wanted to um, address each of your guests real quick, Flex, if I may. Yeah. General Legion, that was a hell of a video put together with um, what is how do you um, how do you do it? Jealous, 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 jealous. You know that video? Love it. It was great. I played it the other night on on my vid on my live stream. Appreciate it. good work, Jenny. Jenny, you're a moderator on my site now. I put you in there. And RJ. Yes, sir. I was uh, listening in yesterday. I was driving down the road when you were up here on Flex's stream. And I just want to say congratulations to the uh, national anthem that you're singing that on the during the Special Olympics in Florida. Rock and roll right on. And thank you, buddy. to put you on the spot. And if you say no, I totally get it. It's okay. But if you could give us a rendition of it, that would be pretty cool. You know what? Glad you asked. Glad you asked. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the Man, that was rock and roll. Good job, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All I right, guys, I'll see that. you all later. I had to sing that. I had to sing that in front of a thousand people last year. <laughs> good for you, man. Very good. All right, Very man. Good. Thank you, buddy. Thank all you, man. But but you know, and and this is in and, and this is in a respectful manner. You know, I I I see. It's it's not my. It's not my intention to bash anyone i don't want to i used to be a part of that i used to bash people you know what i mean so that's how i feel about that but flex uh, thanks for having me on man yeah no doubt anytime and uh i just i just want to i just want to say again um if y'all if y'all go to my channel, it's R J Sandifer. It's S A N D E F U R. Um, first name is R J. Um, I will be doing that interview at eight p.m. this evening on my channel with uh, Real Talk Christina. And uh, thank you, Jenny, for having my back and everything like that. I really appreciate you. You're a good friend, Jamie. I'm sorry I didn't get to talk with you, buddy. Um, I know you're on the phone, but, uh, hopefully you're having a good day today, man. And, uh, so y'all all go head over to my channel and, uh, I'll see y'all tonight on my channel. Love y'all. Thank you, Audra. Yeah, yeah, man. Okay. Yep. Yep. Peace. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Christina, for RJ, he does a lot of special Olympics and stuff for the special needs. So, like, he sings and his and 
that American and don't have these events. So. Hey, RJ, say something in the chat or put your link or someone put a link in there. I didn't put it in the link in the chat for him, so. RJ Sanifer, 79. Yeah. So he does his own thing. He said he he doesn't care if he gets two, three, four people in there. He doesn't care. He does his own thing. So I think it's cool. He's getting the he's getting the interview instead of Eli. And with Jamie, he has a couple of clips of cartoons of RJ. That's a creature. creature. So. He is. Yes. Eli just attacks people. I'm pretty good, Christina. So. Well, come on, Jack. I'm not going to be fucking singing. Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rant pool dropping a fucking Russian national anthem in there in Russian. <laughs> well, Jack is a not ball. Anyways. Why do you have to send him an email? Doesn't make sense. He's trying to get your personal information. He could trace your email, get like your a real name, which is like tied to it, whatever it is, and then do whatever malicious shit that he can, you know? He could say like you're abusing your kids or some shit, like, you know, he knows nothing about you. Just because. <laughs> He's weird like that. He tries to find out like personal information on you. He's a snake. That's why he said he sits there and plays stupid and then and then he, you know, he reacts on it. He sits there, he gathers information like he, he said it, like he said it multiple times in his fucking stream. Sits there, gathers info, then turns it around on you. Fucking snake. That's what he does. And he uses it on a stream. Only Jenny gets to call me an oddball. It's a thunder. Thunder. He did flip it on you. 100%. 
because he wants to be in control of everything. Plum, what up, homie? Yeah, Robert the Third. Yeah. Eli wants to be Robert, and Robert wants to be Eli. You want Eli's new picks from Plenty of Fish, and what the fuck? No. Dude, are you Thunder, fucking kidding me? Thunder, well, RJ and I pulled that are two different people. Yeah, the, yeah. But Jack, if you want to come up, you're more than welcome to. So is Christina. You, you could come up if you guys want to. Any of you guys could come up except the fucking knucklehead Reese. Yeah. What do you think like he called RJ the blind of work? Mm-hmm. So. Jake is Reese. Or maybe not. There, there might be one fake one out there. Pretends to be Reese. But it could be Reese. But the typing is too too perfect to be Reese. So it's a Reese wannabe. Yeah, he is. That's a lie. A disgusting man. Fucking Red Bull gets the crazy shit. <laughs> I never like him. Like, yeah, dude. You you could just look at him and it's just like, oh, what the fuck. <laughs> For people, if they want help, they will ask, ask for help. Or they go to these programs and say, I need help on drinking or drugs. Hey guys, so, sorry. Uh, I had to get a phone call there. There you go, you go. You know, business in the morning. I'm a very busy Bob. man. Jenny, don't disrespect me. I'm very busy in the morning. And I drink my coffee like an adult. So shut up. Yeah, the cartoons are fucking awesome. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, we made a lot of cartoons. I, we actually made a, a whole original series based off of Eli. Yeah. Um, there's some inside jokes in there, but uh, you guys would probably enjoy them. It's all your fault, Christina. Dawn is paying the price. <laughs> Need a wellness check for Dawn. Okay. Oh man, why does General sound like Eli? Be because because I am Eli. Okay, Wait, why why aren't you accepting my my coaching services, Christina? I tried to help you. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to help you. And I don't like no white knight simps like Mr. Flex here. Okay. He's a he's a he's a beta mon. He's a millennial. I hate millennials. They're spoiled and entitled. No disrespect. <laughs> That's his favorite line. No disrespect. No disrespect. He's been saying that one a long time. I think Jamie, your Jamie just left here. Yeah, I know. So, but he, but he's he's much more immature than I am. We yeah. should agree, Jenny. Okay, 
much less professional too. See, I, I, I wear a Kangol hat, okay? Mr. Flex here, he wears like a like a beanie or something. You know, he doesn't even have a real beard. My beard's way more nice, way nicer, way more full. Wouldn't you agree, Jenny? Grown with just for man. Look at my look at my my flowing locks that I have on my hair. You like that? Like I'm, not, awesome I'm not bald picture. anymore, Jenny. I'm not bald anymore. <laughs> You know that stuff they put in Chia Pets? I put that on my my skull. And my scalp. That's right. Lovely Lady Dana. <laughs> my lovely Lady Dana. <laughs> there is one video that if you played, he would literally throw a fucking hissy fit over it. Oh, I played one of them shits. So yeah, he fucking threw me a strike over it. Oh, which one? Uh, one of Redpool that fucking gave me. What, what like, was happening? Ago. What was happening in the video? Let me give me, give me an idea. Uh, he was yelling at RJ. Yelling at RJ. Hmm. Dry calling him a net. Okay. Him the, the fruit ball. What's up, line out? Damn. I didn't know those things still triggered him. Yeah. Still triggered. Still triggered, Eli. And the uh, the cuck buddy. Joe cuck buddy. Joe cuck buddy. Joe cuck, Joe cuck, Joe cuck buddy. Yeah. What's the matter, Joe cuck buddy? <laughs> you want the fry rye? Mm, you want the fry rye? Yeah. Eli's nose is 10 inches. <laughs> the cringe one is when he's fucking begging for that money. Yeah. That uh for his birthday, the birthday. Yeah, the birthday one. Yeah. The Christmas Day? Oh yeah, when he yells at dawn. That that one that one kind of got me too. And it's like, dude, I, we we all know that shit's not set set up. It's not fake. It's like you're really getting mad at her. We're taking a phone call and then he's like comparing that shit to the corporate world when he's late every single stream to his fucking own fucking show when he makes no money off of and then yelling at his own girlfriend giving her shit for taking a phone call from like a fucking 80 year old fucking mother it's like, what's wrong with you? Why would you give her shit for that? Fucking douche. That's Eli. Uh, his Furby mic. Um, yeah, he needs that big fluff ball mic because it, it gives him the most um, protection from the wind while he's walking, sound-wise. Uh, I guess none of the, it's not the, for the sound. No, it's yeah. not for looks. It, it's, it's not purely for... just to block out the sound of the wind. That's it. Because without it, it sounds like ass. Which I guess yeah, I have he's to. He's walking the trails in a wide open space and it's windy out there. Yeah, it is. It's very windy. It's really not conducive to doing what he does, but he does it anyway. You know, that's that's Eli doing everything the hard way. And the know? reason why he's probably got a back problem because he's walking like a fucking mama with a selfie stick. He's not he's not walking properly. So yeah. he's probably having back problems because he's he, walking for like th two, three hours like this, like a, like he's walking yeah. on stilts. He's got sciatica issues. Yeah, he's walk. If you could, if you can't tell, he's walking mad stiff. Mm -hmm. He's not. Yeah. He, he walks. Probably, a lot. He's not walking properly. Yeah. Yeah, he's. he's it's he's all because raised. of the selfie stick. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. That selfie stick throws him off. Oh yeah, that's that's a good oh yeah, that's point. As he tries good. to keep it steady. Right. Yeah, Eli, well, do you ever think about that? I actually, I actually hadn't considered that that your selfie stick might be causing some of your issues. Eli, you're literally walking for like miles, offsetting your own body with that selfie stick. You know, almost, almost kind of look looking like he's walking a tightrope and shit. <laughs> yeah, 
Eli, you mean we, we may have fi uh, figured out a way to fix your sciatica problem? Uh, or Stop maybe, fucking or, walking with that damn selfie, you dummy. <laughs> or maybe you got a little Woody up there. <laughs> yeah. To keep them balanced. Yeah, get some. You know, they have one of these uh, these phone uh, docks or whatever that you can um, attach to yourself. And it kind of like juts outward, you know, from like your, your chest. <laughs> like maybe yeah. if you got one of those without yeah, having I, to I hold it. You know? I seen uh, I seen a gig worker doing that. Yeah, it, it's so. it's right over his neck. It's like a kind of stiff, like a like a mm -hmm. wire. Right? Yeah, like, like a thick yeah, like wire. a wire. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's, try uh, to try to get one of those, Eli. Like, that'll be better for your sciatica. You still look weird, but <laughs> it might go, it might fix some issues. We actually coached the coach. We actually gave him some helpful advice. Some actual helpful advice. Wow, that could even be considered some medical advice. It's like a chest mount. Yeah, you're right. I've seen them. We helped him. Look at this. See, we're coaching it, the coach. It looks, it looks ridiculous. It looks like a bike rack kind of sticking off of your chest, but it's better all than a, a all, selfie stick. Right. All he needs is a little bell, like, ring, ring, you know, <laughs> <laughs> while he's walking. Get out of my way. Ring, ring. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I used to have issues with my sciatica years back. Um, I don't know what fixed it. I, I think when you sit in a particular way or you, you know, you aggravate it in a certain way, it, it can really act up, you know. But if you change your habits, it can go back to uh, n being normal. Eli walks with purpose with a vibrating <laughs> butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> How do y'all like the rainbow dildo? Oh, that shit's hilarious. Yeah. We've been doing that to him for years. You should you should have a like a remember I was telling you get get like an animation going so it kind of like wiggles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hit the button and it like starts wiggling at him and shit. Maybe like maybe like sprays every once in a while. Oh god. I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna get the shit flagged down. <laughs> that right here. But the wiggling part will be funny, bro. Yeah, that would be funny. Like, little, like, uh, like if it would be like if you hold it like a real life way, it'll be like jiggly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time you move it, it like jiggles. Bro, like yeah. jiggly animation, that would be funny. I could try that. It's tough because uh, the file types are weird yeah. when it comes to Streamyard. You know? Yeah, it's not like it's in a sandbox to where. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It would be it, you would have to create a gif file yeah a gif gif has to have the transparency and all that christina did did eli ask if you were fertile because he asked this one woman years ago if she was fertile when she came in the chat <laughs> you trying to have babies it's not with about her? His business if the females fertile or not he was always kind of looking for a chick to to get with, but he always like overshoots, you know. His or or if he was going to make some shit up, because you're fertile and non-fertile, you're looking for this and you're looking for that, maybe, and you know, what I mean, like mm -hmm. maybe you're not telling him and you're just using him. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like he he would come up with some bullshit. Yeah, be very careful what you tell Eli. That was uh, that was a good tip because. He takes everything and runs with it, especially if you don't do what he wants. He said I probably became overweight and unattractive. I know he, he's such a fucking asshole. <laughs> what a dickhead! Uh, how much? How much of an information can you pull off of an email? What do you mean? Because he keeps trying to get people to email him. Can you um, pull like? Uh, person's name if it's tied I don't think to it. so no i think you, you maybe used to be able to get the general location trace where, somewhere like trace the location but you can't get a name although I, I i will say this though if your email is linked to your name anywhere on the internet they could pull that up like in a search result like mm -hmm. on a, a background site or something you know gotcha 
So if you gave him your email, he could look that up. And if that's linked anywhere on the internet, they could find you in some kind of background. Search Any, site. Anything that it's linked to. Yes. Anything it's linked to social media, you know, whatever. So careful what you get, what you tell the coach. Also, if you donate to him um, through like PayPal or something that has your name linked to it as well and address. So, wow. Yeah. He was, for that, he was the night uh, Joe Buddy with that. Yes. He, he uh, threatened to dox Joe Buddy. That was one of the clips in, in Coach Eli's Greatest Hits was uh, him threatening to dox Joe Buddy because he was tired of being restreamed and criticized and shit. Joe Buddy donated to him somehow and that's how he got his name? Uh, yeah. See, actually, it, it's it's kind of funny in a weird way. Uh, so, you know, we all trolled him, right? But sometimes people would troll him in unconventional ways. Sometimes they would donate like 99 cents to him just to piss him off. You know, they would make like a, a you know, like a trolley comment in the donation, you know, mm -hmm. like, hey, you lie, take off that hat. You look ugly, whatever. Right. And 99 cents, you know, it's nothing to troll. Right. But it, it has your name and your address linked to the PayPal. So you like got that information. Or one cent. I don't think it was one cent. They I think did. It, there was one cent. I don't think you can donate one cent. There's like a minimum, <laughs> isn't there? There's a minimum. Probably. I don't think you could do one cent. Yeah, well, probably is like 99 cents. I don't think. Yeah, 99 or 50 cents, something like that. To, to Joe, it was worth it, but it ended up, it ended up beating him in the end, didn't it, Joe Cuck Buddy? Because you stopped streaming the cuck at that point, didn't you, Joe Cuck Buddy? Yes, you did. And you, he got you, mad about that. You kneeled to the cuck, didn't you, Joe mm -hmm. Cuck Buddy? Very sad. Here, let me let me. Can I show you some some cuckitude of Joe Cuck Buddy? Let's play this video. <laughs> this is fun. Shame. Shame. Don't worry about them people having your fucking address, man. Listen, I that's that's rough, but listen, most yeah, of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, listen, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you something, Joe, for as a favor. I don't even know what you're talking about because I wasn't paying attention as you were scrolling. Well, yeah. Together. Yeah. I I I'm hoping that you can either edit that part out or privatize the video or you privatize the video because if not i'm gonna have to put in a i'm gonna have to put in a privacy complaint no, i don't want to see do was he not seeing you well, see this is why i hate this is why people fucking and you know you what guys. you know what you asked why didn't listen. you just why didn't you just fucking ask but you had to throw in you're just like a bitch you had to throw in that final threat you, you here's the thing when you were sitting there saying hey is there any way you could just privatize it i'm sure that we that he would have done it but you right. had to say i want to end this stream right now before these people they're looking at all that stuff i want to end this stream right now and we can come right back but i don't want that information out there okay i'm, I'm letting you guys know right now and you know there and, was like a lot of stuff we talked about before you came on i don't want to have it all out and gone shame shame Shame. 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 Is You're this out. really is this really Dana in the chat? Dana Allen? Who knows? Calling us pedophiles? Who oh knows? God. And by the way, by the way, Dana, I said it. They never said shit. I said it, you dumb bitch. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, we said Eli's probably grooming Dana's daughter. Right. And he <laughs> is too. He is. She's just pissed off because she's going to be 18 in two years and she's going to be fucking 45 years old. So go fuck yourself, yeah. Lion Whale. Shame. Shame. 
shame. Maybe he'd like to watch you dance. Hmm? I don't know how to dance. It's easy. You just move your feet to the rhythm. Music, gentlemen. drama but yeah so every time every time they spoke or whatever he threatened him asked him to take this shit down huh every time fucking Eli yeah, he likes to blackmail people Yep, he does not have a very good uh, social acuity. Cocktacular. Yeah, he does love to blackmail people. That's his favorite activity. Especially if you are being nice to him. He plays yeah, value. He sees it as weakness. Do you, do you think he um, set that up purposely, maybe? To uh, to make it look like he doxed himself? No. He lied. No. Or he actually accidentally showed. He actually, he, no, I'll tell you how it happened because it wasn't set in there. Um, he was showing his block list on YouTube. I guess to, I, I don't know why he was showing his block list, block list now that I think about it. It was probably just to prove how many people he had blocked. He had a ton of people blocked. Um, and uh, one of the uh, accounts was his address. Like someone made an account that literally was his address. And he was uh, showing yeah. that uh, his blocked list with that and his address popped up there. And that's, yeah, how that happened. I see people are making usernames as this personal information. Yes. I got you. Yeah, that happens a lot. That's crazy. <coughs> yeah, some people did go overboard with Eli. Um, you know, he, he went overboard too, but people did also go overboard with him. So, you know, not everything that's done to him is right. A new shift is available. Not everything he does is right. Right, exactly. Like that doxing shit is should not be. Um, I want you to tolerate that shit. Right, and 
trying to gather personal info on people, that's also unacceptable. To try to use it to his advantage later down the road. Like, that's what's fucking cringe about it. Yeah, he, he can be calculated in a lot of his moves. No, Jamie, he scrolled too far down from his blocked accounts list down to his blocked chat words list, which was at, oh, whatever the fuck it was. Block list, block account, whatever the hell it was. Block words. But people did make accounts in his address, I think, too. But anyway. Hey, Silicone, you missed my earlier restream of Eli. On the yeah, coach I came agent. at the end of so your I came at the end of your stream, Jamie. Of course. You were there. Yeah, at the end. Oh. At the end. Eli was fucking raging. He got triggered. He ended up pretty much banning everybody on this fucking yeah. Stream. If you go near the end of my restream on uh, Coach Legion Silicone, you'll see him rage quit. Um, you'll see him rage quit near. Like, he banned the, Christina uh, and her friends for sticking up for her. Yes, it was at the near the two hour mark. Because Christina wouldn't basically accept his life coaching. Peace, Jeff. Peace. But not getting rejected on any kind. Yeah, Palm, I remember that shit. Yep, he banned Christina. Like a troll. Yeah. It was it was I actually kind of surprising. I thought he was gonna try to like, you know, keep simping, you know, try to get her attention, but no, he just he just had it and he just got rid of her. Yeah, I missed the voice stream, but I came out. Uh, you know what his problem is? Is his uh his chat like that's uh that's one minute you know restricted. So he's sitting there making shit up for the whole fucking minute when Christina you know responds and then he sees her message and then it's like oh shit. But I already said a whole bunch of shit about you know what I mean, which wasn't right. And she's like, dude, what are you talking about? And then he continues. It, that's that's the problem. It's not. It's not like a, in real life communication. It's he responds to some message and then makes a whole bunch of shit up. And then you know, she, she's like, "What the fuck are you talking about, dude?" Yeah, Christina. Doesn't matter if you're asking for questions. He hates it. He's only it's doing not that. Not the people. right questions. Yeah. Only doing that so it makes him look good. Just in case somebody says something bad, he could delete it. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you're given an honest answer. It it's not. Fit in his gender. Even we're queer, that's a queen with him. You're out. He takes you out. He wants he wants that super fucking controlled environment like the media. Yeah. Where you can't say nothing bad about him. You cannot criticize him.
Donkey Schlong. Donkey Schlong. Bad signals. Bad signals. Shalom. What fucking picture you got there, Willie? What is that shit? A child in space? Alien? Even Jim, when Jamie goes into Eli's chat, he's typing. And the words he uses are blocked. And then he gets drunk. Jamie gets annoyed. Do you guys really think he banned like thousands and thousands of users like he's got like 8,000 subscribers did he really ban like 5,000 users what did much I can see the trolls ban you can ban <laughs> Man, you are but... have to get a word in <laughs> So there's so many inactive accounts. So what's what's his like real number? Two thousand people, not even one thousand. Probably. That's fucking. That's insane. The first year I was with him in 2019, yes, someone from Louisiana. Did but him um, numbers, but he still thinks it's that guy from Louisiana, but in him, but he's not said he's not. Maybe actually 500 subs. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, he just accuses everyone. He was he was going silicone, silicone. Then he was saying thunder. He, he just whoever 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 he feels that day, you know, that's they're doing it. Yeah, at, first, he, at first it was Tammy and J Rom, and then it was somebody else. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? What the silicone? He thinks it was thought it was. Ryan. No. Everybody's paid. This they're paying them. Pedro it was Pedro. Pedro. Pedro's doing it, and it's like, dude, is 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 Pedro paying or Pedro getting paid? Which one is it? Fucking pick one. <laughs> he couldn't fucking. You didn't know who to fucking pick. He's blaming everybody. Basically, everybody's getting paid. But Eli, it's all yeah. about getting paid, getting paid, getting paid. He wants a, he wants a the five hundred dollars going to him instead of somebody else. So he's weird. So. And like when Pedro and Hannibal had him on, it's like they didn't ask you for money. You didn't have to give them money to go on their show. He made it like, oh, out of a goodwill and blah, blah, blah. I gave him money. And then, oh, I had to pay him to get on their show and blah, blah, blah. Or otherwise they wouldn't like, what the fuck? Like I said to Kian, my comrade, they to Thunder. I said, when people are just donating to him, mm -hmm. they're donating on his 
bad behavior. To, yeah, yeah, supporting the bad behavior. Yeah. Yeah. He feels like he accomplished something by getting just something. <laughs> I was saying you guys logged out 100 subs. Holy shit. <laughs> there should be a way that you could, like, all those inactive accounts just get fucking dropped. Like, after a year or two, if nobody logged into them or anything, they should just automatically get burnt. Delete it. Especially if, like, there's no content on them. Those accounts should be burnt. And then we would see the real number that he's got, you know. That is funny to how he stayed up all night. Eli, though you're supposed to care for Dawn, man. You're supposed to care for your woman during the day and shit. How are you, you going to care for your woman when you're asleep? When you're a zombie? He's all zombified. He said, and I, and I took an hour to prep my girlfriend's uh, pill cabinet thing. From Monday through Sunday. It took me an hour. What? It takes you an hour? Put some pills in the fucking thing? Dawn can put... Wait, wait, wait. Could Dawn not put her own pills in the fucking thing? Is she that fucking disabled? She's not that disabled. Her foot is broken. But I'm sure yeah. she could organize her own pills. Yeah. It probably takes her... Can take her... Five minutes to short out her pills. Yeah, it takes five, ten minutes. He made it sound like it's a closed environment. You got to be very careful what you like. What? An hour. Damn, Eli. He's, he's, he's like the biggest bullshit artist that I've seen on, on the tube. He's fucking crazy. Yes, you pick look nice and decent for a string, but as long as you're wearing clean clothes and you're, you're good, doesn't matter how much they cost. You go to like Second hand gets a two dollar shirt and wear it, and people love it. Wait till I bring it still in my pajamas. Gotta get ready. My shift starts mm -hmm. at eleven thirty. Yeah, it's 10.50. Better get off and get moving. Spike, you're not working, Flax. No, no, it's my, my thing starts at 11.30. Oh. Usually you take the post off. No, that's, uh, that's tomorrow. Oh. From two, Tuesday to Friday. I thought you do it every day. Yeah, no, some people think, yeah, no. It's uh, four days a week. I'm sure PDF is live. He's going over the video where the lady opened the bottle of liquor or 
airplane shot, opened it, emptied it, and threw it back in a car, and then arrested a guy for an empty container or open container. Fucking dumbasses. That was one of the viral videos that's happening. Is that Tallahassee, Florida? That's fucked. Watching um Fletch Page Fletch Dash. He's been off YouTube for months. I don't know, I don't I don't watch him. I I wasn't But he's he's, have, he's he's having his mental reasons. He's off. I suppose Eli's not gone over and tried to help him with his mental. Oh, he, he tried to be friends with him. A good citizen. No, he, uh, what do you call it? Thomas told him, like, uh, I'm done with you. I don't want to do none with you. He told them off. And then he tried, Eli tried to push himself on him again. Yeah. So weird. He wants everybody back. Yeah. On his side. So. You, everybody knows he's not. He's out of there. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if he does he didn't do any of those things like putting the pills together and all that shit like I think he just take he the way he talks it's like he he's asking for way too much credit for himself the, the, the way he talks he does too much for sure what he does Even, I'm surprised fucking he okay so <laughs> he hidden everybody he hidden everyone gave everybody shit he didn't give Tammy shit that was that was funny Tammy he didn't give you any shit even though she was disagreeing and stood up for uh for Christina he gave her no shit That part is he will go to another community, try same thing. So, like he did with 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 McTow. Oh, he also tried to like love bomb the shit out of her. Love put put dreams. He, that's where he found me in the world stream. And he, right, he tried the big work. They kicked him out. He will do same thing in other communities. He tries to love love bomb people. Yeah. Um, I, I want to help you. I'm, I want to do this for you. I'm here for you. I'm, I want to help you grow your channel. I'm going to help you make money. I'm going to help you make your channel grow money. We could do this together. This guy be dreaming a lot. Like be riding off of other people. What people? Go over there to his channel to see what he's like, and they realize he is a Eli. Eli is like one of those people when you order on DoorDash and you don't tip, and you hope off of you know you hope somebody else tips, and they uh they uh they group his order together with the tipper, so he's a tip rider. 
is more like a tip rider. Yeah. Like I said, they go up anybody know goes over there. See his content for day or two and they realize oh shit, he's an a-hole. So and means I'm just a tip. <laughs> that shit's funny. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Yeah. Glory, what up, yo? Hey, hey Glory. Glory, yo. Hey, gent. I'll be right back. Yeah. Well, I'm taking over Flux's show. JP, who knows what he's doing? Well, boy, sleeping. I will. I will be sleeping in a minute. Go back to sleep, Jamie. Yeah, it was. It is a good thumbnail. What Black says. Yeah. Yeah. Who needs flex cut me? Good <laughs> demon. Sad part I cannot highlight the comments. So we're let people up. So, that's the sad part. Yeah, he's up early. He was up pretty much all night. Cup. Doing Tiffany. And now, Eli. So, yeah, well, I know. There's a lot of good people, like Flex, Boy, um, Yep. Um, Eric. He's still in something. Yeah, 3 a.m. Yeah, he was. He understands us. Yes, we're not in geek community, but he accepts accepts us. Yeah, with the like he 
he is smart, but he doesn't. He's evil. He's smart, but evil. Yeah. But he doesn't know certain things like marriages. That's the biggest thing. If you, if a guy is happy being single, let him be single. If he wants a girl, lady, or a partner, watch him or her. Hmm. <laughs> pull. So, well, he doesn't take them for walks, anyways, Christina. He just let them go in the backyard and have their bathroom breaks outside. Probably, probably he is no done most to takes them for walks, but not Eli. He doesn't know how to handle the dogs. Yeah. Hello, Flex and Jamie. I'm going to jump down and get my butt moving. See you guys later. Listen, listen, I was sending that fucking Momo a porcelain message, all right? <laughs> Through my porcelain communicator. Yeah, Eli doesn't let his fucking dogs. He doesn't walk his dogs. I believe he said they fucking piss and shit in his fucking garage. I don't even think he lets him out. He said a courtesy flow. Oh, you want? I got you. I got you. A little ASMR sounds here, bro. I got you. I got you. Just to make sure Eli receives the message. He 
he it's he don't love his dogs, I don't think. He's he spends more time fucking walking himself than the dogs. It's like Eli, at least take your fucking dogs for a walk with you. He said you have a low flow toilet. <laughs> Yeah, it's not fucking pressured. <laughs> he said 1980s toilet. <laughs> so you were pooping. <laughs> well, I'm not going to like, all right, I'm going to go take a fucking big giant shit. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I just go use the restroom real quick, you know? <laughs> Well, his purpose is to walk and talk shit about people, make shit up. Then says he's giving people an advice or whatever the fuck he's trying to do, which is not helpful at all. It's like if you if you wanted an advice how to how to end your relationship and or break up with someone like yeah you hit up Eli to fix a relationship that's that's wrong people yeah that's how he betrays himself that he's here to help people like he you know he could make you make you grow this your channel and make you help you make money off your channel like he you know he's the shit he knows how to do all this shit he's been here for years you know he's been here for years and could barely fucking pull anything he's been here for years and unsuccessful but he could make your channel successful some way somehow you know because he's been so successful but then he'll give you a reference of some fucking online coach or some fucking coach or some YouTuber that's got like million subscribers. Oh, look, blah, 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 blah. But what about you? What about you? You're the one that's sitting here trying to give advice to people that's unsuccessful. <laughs> His his advice is more like to end a relationship than fucking fix it. Fucking Jack. I pay for war. Yeah, there shouldn't be no restrictions. I want, I want 1500 PSI. I'll take 1500 PSI. <laughs> Calls for a bong rip. I wonder if Roy got his uh, disposable pen. I, that thing should taste really good. The bubble gum. Mm. Guys, remember the. Uh, the bazookas or the the turbo bubble gum little with the little race car fucking little comic book inside those things are mm, pretty good the turbo bubble gum
Yeah, like the Formula One, little Formula One fucking race cars on it. Bazooka Joe. Can but 99% hash oil double distillate in pot stores. Yeah, that, that's what I got. I got it from, from Dabbin. Actually, uh, bought some shit off my buddy. He uh, he had like a half a pound or some shit. It's pretty good, actually. Nice and golden. Some dabbage. But yeah, the shit shit Roy's supposed to pick up. Uh, 88% THC. Ninety nine percent oil is powder. Like the THCA crystalline T THC powder. Yeah, yeah, the uh, THCA. Crystal powder. I was I was blazing that shit too. That it was pretty good. It's actually uh, it's really smooth. It's not harsh. It's it's really good, actually. Yeah, if you hit it with a little bit of heat, it will turn into uh, oil, or more like a uh, shatter type. If it uh, if you let it cool off. They like extract it from like wax. They turn it into that crystalline THCA. I was watch I think I was watching some how they make it. It's pretty cool. They like throw it in this fucking cylindrical thing, centrifuge, and it uh extracts it. It's pretty dope. <laughs> Oh, oh my boy. <laughs> I still smoke a blunt every now and then. I smoked a blunt last night. I picked up some good buds from my buddy. But yeah, I grabbed a I grabbed an ounce of this wax. It's almost like shatter, I guess. Uh ten dollars a gram. Not bad. I randomly quit for no reason. Two years, been off for smoking nearly twenty years. Oh yeah, I've seen I've seen people do that. Some people catch like anxiety attacks and shit. They quit. They quit smoking. Some people will just like grow out of it. They don't feel like blazing no more. Yeah, somebody I knew was like the biggest fucking pothead. Scraped the fucking bowl and everything. Uh, when they start catching like fucking. Like a paranoia attacks and shit. Heart, heart was racing. And then he stopped, stopped smoking. It was getting paranoid. I guess uh, I could. The week could do it to some people. I guess. Get your heart rate up. Get you all sweaty and paranoid.
Damn. The fuck you guys got in your water, bro? What are they making over there? What kind of fucking chemicals they're dumping over there. Shut. Hey, Mr. Flex, I'm sorry, sorry for a uh, hog in space on your panel. Um, oh, you good. Uh, I was busy doing some stuff, taking care of crap. Um, but I'm gonna get off here. Um, maybe I'll see y'all later. Maybe another restream or something. Yeah, um, yeah, no doubt. Anytime, all buddy. Right. All right, cool. So have a nice day. You too, bud. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Oh, right, THC in the water. Oh, shot. He said he was jerking it. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah, Jamie's in the chat. What do you guys think? We're gonna have a we're gonna have a walking stream today. By none by other than fucking Jabroni Mellis. I think he will. He's gonna be raging. He's banned every well, he's gonna be talking that ish. He's gonna be talking that shit. A little fucking prick. I, when I first came across him, I felt bad for him. I thought he was like disabled, like fucking walking with a fucking with a gimp. Then, like, more and more I listen to him, it's like, dude, what the fuck? Fletch should do a walking stream at the same time. I hate walking, Corey. I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather fucking ride a Segway or something. I wish I had a Segway. That would be fucking awesome. You want to watch my bestie, right? Fuck no, I can't watch nothing from you, bro. You fucking got my shit stroke last time. Got my channel stricken. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm on. I'm on my. Uh, what do you call it? I'm on my uh, tablet. No, no, no. That wasn't you. That wasn't you. No, you didn't. You, you didn't strike my shit. The the video that I played, Eli. Eli fucking threw a strike on it. Or or he claimed that uh, YouTube did it. You, YouTube algorithm picked it up because of my banned videos and blah, 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 blah. It was the, the a few months ago, like maybe five, six months ago, you uh, gave me a link. I was playing it where he was saying Joe Buddy and fucking Cole and RJ fucking fag and shit, you know. It was, it was that video. Yeah, I think he reported it. He fucking YouTube wouldn't just pick it up because you have the video. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't get deleted by YouTube. He definitely reported it. Nah, it was it was a report. It didn't say his name or anything. It wasn't a big deal. It's all good. At least I got to play it for people to hear it, you know?
Plus, that type of shit should be played on, like, unlisted streams and shit, you know? Elon has to help twice to strike his video on two separate channels. Damn, Elon. God dang, Elon. Jack, you still don't smoke, right? Watcher in your free time. Oh shit, I got you. You need some concentrates. Since you almost died, yeah. I heard about that one. Missed Halloween. Remember, they were asking you if you've seen some shit, but you said nah, just blacked out right it's just like going to sleep waking up the next day type of deal That's crazy. A new shift is available. So what if you see that? I think, I think, um, it would have been a different experience if you went into a coma with a dream in a dream state, right? I think, I believe that's when people are having an experience. <coughs> um, <clears throat> when they go into it in a dream state having dreams like if you fall into it it's just blank it's just duh just that fucking body <laughs> <coughs> like a ghost you can turn around. So it's, it's almost Thanksgiving now, oh, shit. Damn, what's up, buddy? They had you hooked up to the machines, right? Helping you breathe. Or you were breathing on your own. <coughs> Can you breathe on your own when you're in a coma? They had you, okay. Got you on a machine. <laughs> I must have felt weird, huh?
Say what? They can remotely shut your voice off with it. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. That's creepy. Damn, bro, for a whole month. Just blank. What the fuck? crazy must have been a mess huh I guess uh, at that point it's all liquid going through you there's nothing solid there's no solids Fucking ass cheeks must have been stinging. Fucking laying on your bum for a month. <coughs> I mean, I'm sure they move you around. Holy shit. No. Oh. How did you fall into the coma in the first place? and keep you strapped to the bed. Wow, what the fuck? You can come back and give him some shit for doing that. <coughs> Bitch, I remember you. Chest pain apparently. I had three clots in my left lung. Wow. One in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> So they fucked it up. Was that a fuck up by the doctors, the nurses?
you were in a soft coma. No, that's where that's crazy. You got lucky as fuck. Wow. Yeah, Heard a beep. I don't see no one here. Somebody tried. Come on, I don't think so. This stuff started calling Mr. Miracle. That's funny. Hello. <clears throat> some shit. So you're all back to normal. No, no more blood clots. Dangerous. Hey, gosh, you're on some serious buttons. Damn. Well, I bet the bill must have been like fucking through the roof. Insurance coverage that shit. I can imagine myself going to the ER. I got zero, nothing. Things like zero. Nice. try to kill you or they almost did yeah you going after them no that's fucked up you fucking dropped your ass for 28 days it's nuts You're not going because they okay, I got you. 
Because they dropped the bills. Even all the follow up mans are zero. Alright, they taking care of it. Yeah, because they could they'll be liable for fucking millions of dollars. I'm sure you could still consult with someone just to let you know what it's worth. To see if it's worth It's a big mistake. Remember that pacemaker, they could shut off on spot. I like that voice thing. <laughs> Imagine. Hopefully you don't need that shit, bro. Uh -uh. Thank you, I just made a post on this Eli2 account. Take your problems. Dawn is my princess and she will always get everything from me. I will always sacrifice whatever it takes. <laughs> Take good care of her and always ensure she's safe, cared for, loved. Wee, wee. Let me see what else. Uh, careful. Uh, careful and love. She has earned this just being a real as she, as she is. That's why I choose her as my life partner and soulmate. Or anyone else. Oh, why? There's there's other ones? Is he implying there's other ones? And he chooses her? Is he cheating on, is he cheating on her? I hope he's not. You lie, you better not be cheating on her. The community compost. <laughs> That's right, bro. That's a good one. Uh, his community compost. You guys a fucking dipstick fucking tool bag. Eli has no comments whatsoever. To be fair, if he's cheating, it's with a guy. That's funny. Jess, what up? What you doing? 
making fun of Eli. The usual. You know, I got to keep the drama going. I'm the best at it. Just kidding. Yo, what are you drinking over there? Is that... Is that green? Or that's just coffee? I think you sent a picture. I want a green matcha. Ugh, gross. I'm kidding. Relax. Relax. We're saving people in here. Even Bobby had fucking something to say, you know? It was an express with an almond milk. Couch licks. Yo, you should have you should have heard this fucking Momo. I know you don't care. I had a mush mushroom coffee. What? Mushroom coffee. I'm trying to what? Mushroom coffee. What the f mushroom coffee? I'm gonna repeat it like fucking ten times. Mushroom coffee? Is it good? Mushroom coffee? That doesn't sound right. Was it mushroomy? Look it up. It's good for you. I mean, I could. What's the taste like, though? Shroomy? It's a new craze. Mushroom-based tea. No way. No. Shmegma. <laughs> Shroomy. I'm just like picturing fucking chop up some fucking shiitakes up in your fucking coffee and shit. Some dried up shiitakes. <laughs> and I brew them with the fucking coffee. You get that shroomy coffee taste, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a coffee drinker. <laughs> Cocky line, Princess Fiona. <laughs> That's funny. This everyday dose. And therefore, this time on flex. Was taking forty dollar donut deliveries, making two hundred and fifty by this time of day. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> no. Princess Dawn. <laughs>
No, I heard him talk shit about a woman. And then he said some more shit about Roy as well. So. He banned a bunch of people. You know, remember that the girl, Christina? He ended up banning her. Because she wasn't, she was, he was making shit up about her. And she kept telling him, like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, stop making stuff up. And he banned her. And the friends that were sticking up for her. It's messed up. It's not just, like, random guy. It's the same fucking person, Jess. And who cares? No big deal. Not, not like, not like, um, what do you call it? Uh, I am making like ridiculous amounts of money and my channel has to stay in an algorithm of, of a certain topic. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about that stuff. Somebody cared about that. They would, they wouldn't be doing that shit on that channel. I don't know. If I see some bullshit, I'm gonna gonna say something. I can't. The only thing I could do is fucking click on the thing. I can't play it. Hey, Terry. Unless, unless you. What do you call? It? Unless you fucking um, share share it from the computer. I can't do it. You look. You're pretty flex. Thank you, Jess. Can't get away with the prettiness. Cut that shit out, Jess. I'm a one ugly motherfucker. I'm on a cell phone. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's all good. So. Although it's not, I could, it does say present, but the only thing I could present is video file, ec extra camera, and slides. Yeah, tablet is not like a computer. No, it's all good. They could click on it and fucking watch it. No big deal. Check out fucking Eli's stupidity cartoon version on the Rumble. <sighs> you said it's not a cartoon. I thought you said it's a cartoon. I guess I maybe I read it wrong. Oh, it's made from AI. Not a cartoon. Just made from AI. My bad, my bad.
How's the weather outside, peeps? Let me check mine. Ooh, it's almost 59 degrees. Should be fresher. It's refresh this month of sun. Oh, it's 59. No, 61. It's going to get a little bit warmer. At the 65 ish. Cool. Might to show some arms later. All right, no doubt, no doubt, Jess. Hopefully, I catch a delivery or so. Dino, what's up, buddy? It's the weatherman. The weatherman. Yeah, I could play video files. That's in the gallery. I'm not fucking downloading. It's the tablet. It's warming up. Mm -hmm. Seventy five, huh? That's that's good weather right there. Three hours. You know, we're going to be cooking.
get the morning cornbread. They still making them by you there, buddy? Or are you still catching a jalapeno, bud? What up, Jack? You really trying to play the file, huh? All right, all right. So I downloaded it from Rumble. I compressed it to <laughs> 11 MB, and I put it to catbox.mo file host, and I have the link in the chat. If you don't laugh at this, I will never try to get you to play anything ever again, promise. Oh, no, and, I, and I came on as a sign of good faith that I'm not just fucking with you. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Uh, download. If, you, if your tablet hold can't on, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. It's downloading. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. And I promise this has absolutely no content that Eli owns, so there's nothing he can do. I got you. I got you. Let me let me let me see how I could play this real quick. That's six and a half hours later, right? Three thirty one minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Let's see. It should pull it up. It's <laughs> slowing, it's doing something. Your device is having trouble sharing your video. Try sharing again. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, file. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's try it a different way. All right, so when you when you open it in cat box, no, no, usually, I, da uh, I downloaded it. I downloaded it. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to upload it. Hold on one second. Uh, Dang old tablets. This fucking tab. I hate the tablet because um, I'm trying to like slide the fucking thing up, and uh, it's it's like grabbing the video and pulling the video up, like the videos that I have up here. So fucking, I'm gonna delete some videos. Come the A on. the AI AI on this video came out so great. That's. <laughs> Yeah, like use a pen. Let me see if I can use my pen. Even. Why can I add shit? I can't add shit from the tablet. Hold on, I have to do it for my phone. Fucking stream yard. <laughs> Hold on, maybe if I what if I refresh it? Hold on, stay. I'll I'll, I'll chill. Oh, uh, maybe I should at least not leave dead air. Hello, chat that I cannot see or possibly know what's going on right now. Oh, you're back. Reuse of this stream is strictly prohibited. <laughs> no using his content. <laughs> I 
Yeah, like this fucking thing will let me fucking scroll down. Like, what the fuck? What if you download it on the phone? No, no, no. It's. I'm trying to get to the part where uh, I could get to the video. All right, video clips. I'll just let you do your thing. I don't know the back end of StreamYard for shit. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, let me try with my phone. That means, what does that mean? What does that mean? I got to probably download it on your phone. It's yeah, 11 yeah. MB. I shrank it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. There are pictures that are bigger fucking space. But they're like 4K. <laughs> There's two flexes. Put the What's link the in the private chat. chat. In in the yeah, all right, on it. Boom. It might also help if you put your if you're using a browser to put it to desktop mode, like in the three dots. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. I'll come out and admit I got cucked by a gay man. I feel very fortunate for that. I was able to, t to own up to that. And I'm glad I did. I got cucked by a gay man. Nothing wrong with that. If Dana's getting the long peen right now from her new boyfriend, more power to her. I wish I was getting some myself right now, but I've been too busy. Wow. Ooh, I just Dana got the whoa. long peen. I wish I was getting some myself right now, but I've been too busy. I'll come out and admit, I got cucked by a gay man. Six and a half hours later. Today, my whole life could change, and I'm scared. Friday night, I started having a burning sensation whenever I peed. Uh, was not pleasant. So Saturday, I went to urgent care, and they put me on medication for a UTI. So I started the UTI medication on Sunday, and then that night, I noticed that my right lymph node in my groin was swollen. 
By Monday, the UTI meds still haven't kicked in. It still really hurt whenever I peed. Um, so I called to make an appointment with my gyno. And it's now Wednesday. My appointment's in like half an hour. <sighs> this subject is very stigmatized, has a lot of shame around it. But then I noticed warts on my genitals. Very, very painful. These last few days, I've just felt run down, icky, haven't had an appetite, uncomfortable. It hurts to walk. It hurts to sit. It, everything hurts. Uh, I'm it is too funny. <laughs> scared. I'm scared. <laughs> if it's herpes, I know it's not the end of the world. I'm about to go to my appointment now, so I will come back with an update. <laughs> I have herpes. <laughs> if I want to have unprotected sex, I have to tell them. I don't know how this is going to affect my dating life. I can't give birth vaginally if I have an outbreak. <laughs> He's going cross-eyed. <laughs> I don't fucking know how I'm supposed to tell my parents this. <laughs> it's also just painful. And I'm gonna have these outbreaks for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh god, this is funny. <laughs> I feel like my parents are gonna be so disappointed in me. <laughs> I just... I don't know. Some genetic garbage. Penis! <laughs> <laughs> Man, now, as the beginning, um, that footage, uh, part of it's from someone else's stream, and the other is from his deleted channel, so he can't strike it. It's funny. The, I got cucked by a gay man. <laughs> that exists from his original channel that he deleted because Dana left him because her, her gay best friend convinced him or convinced her to leave him. And that was one of his last streams before he deleted that channel and left YouTube for like six months. And he couldn't resist it. Yeah. He came right back. Well, it's just like, you know, how do you think he got exposed to the herpes? He got cucked by a gay man. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> God, that was a lot of fucking effort just for three minutes of video. Yeah, it's because I'm not on the um, on my computer. I heard the fucking dummy. I figured I would start it up, just make fun of him for a little bit. I just love the part where he's like, "I have herpes." <laughs> He starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the other video I sent you that link to, uh, which I'm not saying to play it because it does have stuff clipped from Eli's channel, but it's the one he's failed to be able to take down because it's like clipped together, like in a it, it tells a story. Basically, it's him arguing with JB Gunner which was one of his first YouTube adversaries along with Jamie. And uh, there was this stream that JB had where he got into a fight with his girlfriend and she kicked him out on Valentine's Day. No and shit. so he's like drinking 40 ounces in a motel, yelling at the people in the next room. <laughs> no, 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 no. And he's just like, I'm tired of this shit. And just, he's losing his mind. And I, I chopped it together to where like, Eli and him are having a conversation with each other. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And then at one point it just devolves into them being like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ah, I'm tired just, of this shit. <laughs> they're going at each other. That's why. And then Eli's like, I'm tired of this stupid bullshit. <laughs> but, uh, 
when he comes down here and creates the fucking bullshit. It's fucking crazy. That's the fucking crazy part. Like the shit he was saying to a to the to the girl. Yeah, like Christina trying trick. Trying to fucking describe her relationship. It's like, dude, what the fuck? You don't even know nothing about him. What, does his pee-pee not work? <laughs> <laughs> and what is, what is like, him and, like, talking about relationships and dating and all that shit, like, doesn't he have a woman, like, is the, the, he don't have any other topics to talk about? It's just crazy. No, he has three pet dogs. Hey, One, one's an alcoholic with, like, ankle issues. <laughs> so all three of them are indoor poopers. Indoor poopers. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what the fuck? He don't even walk it, bro. I don't even think he lets him in the backyard. Well, he, he he can't walk the one because the ankle, but the other two he should be taking for a walk. <laughs> That's funny. She's not an alcoholic, guys. She has ankleholism. Ankleholism. <laughs> Chronic ankleholism. I mean, on one hand, I kind of feel bad for her. Oh yeah, but we Dude. warned her the first he, the first two times down. she the first two times she came on his uh, show was basically him turning her into content. He used her to monetize his second channel. Wow, and uh, basically like telling her life story. And, and that's uh, what he does every time he comes out. He fucking talks. Like there's a little something you would find out about her. Oh, the best was when uh, uh, Triple H, um, Holly's Hauntings and Happenings. Uh huh. I call her Triple H. <laughs> but uh, um, she was on a a person to person speaking basis with Don. And so there was all these like voice notes that got leaked when uh, Eli. Here, hold on. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. But uh, at least at least I muted for it. But uh, she would send like voice notes, and she'd talk about how like Eli threatened to throw me out again or another one was like Eli was punching the walls and another one was these people have Eli so stressed out right now that he's just sitting at a table eating peanut butter out of the, the <laughs> jar with a spoon rocking Sorry, back and forth it. like I could literally <laughs> suck his dick right now and it, it wouldn't even snap him out of it <laughs> That's funny. And um, because uh, Holly and uh, Don were too close of friends, um, Eli basically uh, manufactured a reason to get rid of her and threw her under the bus. So she uh, started leaking the voice notes. <laughs> and then, like, you know, there's, like, parts where Don's, like, mocking Eli. Like, <sighs> fucking telling me like you know how I should be interacting with my own family and it's like you've never Dude, been that married was, you never that was kids. pretty fucking bad that was fucking horrible he's trying well, to fucking he's trying to like break up the relationship of uh uh her her parents with uh her daughter no no with, with her and her daughter who just yeah, had her, her grandbaby daughter. Like yeah, because yeah. she still has a relationship, I guess, with her own parents. Yeah, but she he, he was yeah he was saying that the parents she shouldn't help the fucking her daughter. They should be mad at her because daughter wouldn't support her or wouldn't let them see the kids or something like. That. Well, because she's an alcoholic and they yeah. they hate Eli. Like Eli really miffed her he, daughter. He's the real. He's the real big reason why. Right. And uh, he calls her Cashley instead of Ashley. Wow. Because he says that she married for money. That's fucked up. And uh, um, there's this picture of Don's mother 
holding the grandbaby that came from Facebook. And because I'm in, I, I'm, I'm an empath who is very in touch with other people's feelings. I photoshopped Don's face onto the mother and redid the blanket so that instead of it holding a baby, it was holding a voodoo ranger, like cradling yeah. it like a baby <laughs> because I'm such a swell guy. <laughs> That's fine. And so it's like a picture of Don cradling a fucking 22 ounce beer like a fucking baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's fucking crazy. Yeah, if if you're on Discord, uh some of the shit that I put in these servers like meme wise are just ridiculous. You know, and you could always take them for thumbnails and shit. I don't I mean, even if, like, people I don't like used my shit, I wouldn't flag them. It's like, I just don't care. I'm not I'm not going to waste my time filling out a YouTube. Uh, no, board. I wouldn't be using it. Uh, no. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyone can use my shit. I don't care. Because, honestly, most of the shit that I make, I have to, like, steal from someone else, too. Like, some aspect of it. And I ain't going to ask people, hey, Eli... Can I use this clip of yours? <laughs> no, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so it's like I would be a total hypocrite if, like, other people, you know, scalped my shit and I fucking freaked out. And be like, no, it's stupid. Go ahead. Jack it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so, I mean, if you were ever on Discord and saw a hilarious meme I made... Use it to your heart's content. I don't give a fuck. Because, <laughs> uh... I've no, got no, six years, I've got six years worth of Eli memes. <laughs> Eli just did in your post. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I seen it. I seen it. Got Eli saying Eli did a new post. Oh, he did? What's he saying? Yeah, like an hour ago. Dawn is his princess. Oh, instead. Oh. Yeah. oh, wait. So he's white knighting? Didn't didn't he like criticize people for white knighting for Christina? Yeah. He's doing his first girl now. He he always does that. Where he'll he'll say you're doing something, and then he's the one doing it. You know, that's why it's fucking weird. He's such a, he's such an ass clown. Like he has zero self-awareness. And there are times where like he's forced into self-awareness and he just disregards it anyways. Like there'll be times that I leave comments on his channel from a sock and they just fry his brain as it's like trying to like make sense of, you know, how is this person possibly wrong? I need to know because even my brain thinks they're right and it will like <laughs> freeze him up. And uh, like, like the one where he was going off on MJ and I pointed out to him that he was being an irrational fuck and it was the Lakers girl sock. That was me. You know? He bans men immediately. You have a better chance if he thinks you have boobs. <laughs> That's because so he could... The reason why he's doing it is so he could try to fucking degrade him. Well, that, so he and he knows that him. on an even playing field, he can't stand to, like, any other man. No, well, I was saying, uh, women, women. He likes, yeah, to, so, he likes to talk down on, on women. Yeah, and um, minorities. He can, You can usually get by a little bit if you're a minority because he's trying to look like he's inclusive. And Eli has a lot of like... not. I, I mean, he does have disdain for minorities, but it's like the 
the expectation of of uh, low intelligence. Like he he instantly like just kind of assumes that because they're a minority that they'll be dumber than him. Yeah, you know. He's looking at he's looking at like that a lot on a lot of people. And so usually, whenever I make a sock, they have a name that sounds like Hispanic or uh, like uh, Ricardo Arnaz. Now, if he'd ever watched I Love Lucy, he would realize that it's a combination of Ricky Ricardo and Desi Arnaz. Yeah. (laughs) Automatically picks you out. Right, you know, that it would be a troll name. But he's not very savvy. You know, he thinks he has really good intuition, but he's... Like, he thinks, like, there's this sock that someone uses named Jax. Like, it's Jack with an S. And he's convinced that it's me. Even though there's been millions of times we're in the same chat at the same time. And we don't communicate oh, the, any the, way the similar sparrow, the sparrow guy right yeah that's not me yeah, he thinks it that. is and it's like bro he just wants out of... to say that it's you. he probably fucking clearly knows that it's not you he just he blames like nine out of ten times I, I have revealed who i am on socks to him yeah, and that usually gets me banned. If you actually came out into the voice, he knows your voice, so he will blame you for it, and he doesn't know the other person's voice. Right. And it's like, it just gets really stupid because this Jack's person will say something somewhere, and then he'll start going at me. And it's like, bro, how many fucking times are we going to tell you I am not Jax? It's fun. But then again, he thinks uh, nothing but silicone is uh, a guy named Brian uh, who used to be under the handle Wise Night Owl. And he was the sponsor of JB and Jamie and other channels. Yeah, trolling him. Yeah, I heard. And Eli thinks nothing but silicone is this person. And so he's so convinced we just, we now call silicone Brian as a joke. Just, you know, because there's no way to convince Eli otherwise. Yeah. It's like, hey, Tammy, what's going on? <laughs> and it's like Brian lived in the South. And nothing but silicone lives in Washington. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't know why he thinks nothing but silicone is Brian like what made him come to that conclusion? Because he donates money. Yeah, but it's not like he's donating the most. Because because uh, Wise Night Owl was loaded. Like he had inherited a lot of money, and he was loaded, and he was you know sponsoring channels for like over a thousand bucks a month, just so he could write it off. That's crazy. You know, like, and so it's like, but he, he gave Brian such problems and kept threatening to go after him legally that, like, I don't even know whatever happened to Brian. And so he assumes that, I mean, but Eli's the same guy that's literally pulled a restraining order on a doctor in Florida thinking that he was the same person that was a black guy in Toronto. Crazy. And he successfully was able to place this restraining order on him. And, um, the doctor respond. Like kind of, but he was going through his own legal stuff at the pro- at the same time too, and so he was more preoccupied with that. Yeah, because he's probably like, "Who the fuck is this fucking ratatouille face?" Oh well, he he knew who Eli was, and he trolled Eli before, but he wasn't the same guy that uh, Eli thinks 
the guy's name was Ronaldo, the the one that Eli was going after, and the person he ended up fucking with was known as Trim Hits. Now was the doctor. They're not the same person. They don't even live in the same country. And he just purposely did that. He's convinced they're the same person. And still to this day, he's convinced they're the same person. And uh, he doesn't even realize that the person that he has the RO on is one of his supporters in the chat room deep trolling him to this day for as revenge. So that's how bad Eli's intuition is. Probably a fucking AZ prog guy. No. And even if it was, I wouldn't confirm it. But it's not. It's actually someone who hasn't been there for kind of a hot minute, but still pops in once in a while. But Eli's a fucking idiot. And, you know, and for his safety, I, I wouldn't hint at who it is anyways. I mean, that's... Because I, I, I like the doc. He was funny. He was one of my favorite Eli trolls. And, um, you know... He would always say he had this recurring fucking insult where he would like say that someone's butt cheeks stay spread apart. <laughs> like, so he'd be like, Coach Eli's butt cheeks stay spread apart. It wasn't always Coach Eli, it was just kind of like his, it was his gimmick. And, uh, unfortunately, he got doxxed through his email because his email was linked to his, one of his work emails and that's when they found out this this guy's a doctor <laughs> yeah be wow. careful what you do with your troll emails and where you log into them from people <laughs> You know, and then you got poor people like Joe Buddy, who got doxxed by Eli because he once PayPal'd him like a cent or a dollar just to insult him in the note. Well, you're able to like backtrack people's identities through PayPal. And so he did like a full background check on Joe Buddy and then threatened to dox him if he didn't basically like fuck off for good immediately. You know, and is it not like what what would you call that? Blackmail? Um, I don't know, blackmail or I mean it wouldn't be extortion. Yeah, he's not asking for money. But he has tried to extort Jamie before, where he struck oh, yeah. Jamie. He struck Jamie's channel so he couldn't stream. Yeah, and he wanted five hundred bones, and uh, he ended up uh, backing off that pretty quick when people pointed out that that was extortion, like the legal definition of extortion. Dude, Reese, Reese, the same way, bro. When he was tagging <sighs> everybody. Uh, Pedro, Pedro offered him a thousand dollars. He's like, I'll give you a thousand dollars to stop tagging us, stop tagging me and everybody else. He's like, No, I want five thousand dollars, Pedro. I want five thousand. And it's it's still out there. It's still on his channel somewhere. I got a clip of it. What does Robert Reese think that anything he does is worth five grand? No, he was, but he, yeah, he was just like tagging us in random fucking racist shit. Does he live out of his car? Trying, trying, no, I don't know. He did. He drives. No, I get that. His wife does all the work. He sits there and fucking yaps into the camera. That's, that's the only thing we see. But I mean, they're always in the car. I've seen one video of him walking around kind of like mocking Eli's walk stream. Oh, yeah, that one time, yeah. But I swear it's like they live out of their car. I mean, their dogs are like, oh, he's in the back seat and shit. 
miserable. Yep, I agree. Like, are you sure they don't live out of their car? I would hope not. Nah, they got a place. They got a place. And then what's they up with Torp? Slip. It's like one day he's like, he's on the Jedi side. The next day he's on the Sith side. <laughs> it's like <laughs> he's all over the place. Plus, the, he's in the hiding now. They some of the people dropped his address and stuff. Try to oh, that's basically dox dox them. Who did that? Uh, some people from Alex's channel. I see, I see. The new people that started coming around there. They're like more into make somebody look like a pedophile and shit. Not cool. They try to mock up a video of him next to a child. Uh, cool. Yeah. Saying some sexual shit. You know, uh, they try to make it look like he was on a fucking some of those uh, Omegle or whatever that fucking website's called. Is that like uh, Chatterbait or something? Where like yeah, some stupid shit. Where it like, like just links two people together and then yes, just... correct. Okay, yep, okay. Correct. I I just remember hearing that it got shut down. I was like, huh. But it was it was just this. So uh, somebody said I didn't see the video, but somebody said it was obvious that it was like so like faked up the video. <laughs> But still, to go to an extent to do some shit like that, it's, it's fucked up. I mean, it's one thing to put Eli's face blatantly on a female body who's like, I don't yeah, know that, that shit was funny. That's that's different, <laughs> man. But like, trying to make real. somebody Eli look like a pedo, fucking that's... pussy to catch herpes. <laughs> yeah, the other thing is just wrong. If the person's yeah. not it, not not like that, why would you? Why would you fucking? That's not cool. Yeah, it's just. So they they scared Torp off. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, it sucks. But I mean, he was kind of a flip flopper, so. I, I don't feel bad that he got targeted by assholes, but. I don't agree with the methods that they did. Yeah, no, nah, that's that's a wrong you way. Know, of doing it, things. It's you know, doxing and fabricating bullshit. That's you know, especially about like child abuse. No, nah, that that that's not right. I mean, it's one thing to have a problem with someone on this platform and going at them. It's it's a whole other thing to try to like destroy someone like see here's the thing is like eli he flags everybody he flags any and everybody nobody That's ever bothered crazy. flagging eli he's done so many things that are flag worthy even not even though he never uses anyone's content he does and says things that are so defamatory that he could get flagged and people don't flag him and it just kind of shows you the one-way street nature of the community. It's like, all these people hate Eli with a passion. None of them ever flag him. You know, because the people that hate him aren't as big of a piece of shit as he is. Yeah, just talk about him. Point out the yeah. fact. You know? I mean... <sighs> Shit, if Eli got flagged and lost his channel, and then eventually, you know, because he lost one channel, he'd lose the other ones. You know, I mean, some people would probably go through some Eli withdrawal, but I think overall the community would be like, eh, good riddance, he did it to himself. But nobody's out there trying to, like, accomplish that for him. You know, yeah, Eli nobody, nobody, nobody's going now. out out their way to to do that, and he's right. uh, he he's way too cautious on those things anyway. Like somebody's gonna flag him down. 
Oh, he could get flagged down just for the fact that he has his fake dead sponsor still in like a bunch of his fucking uh, uh, descriptions of old videos. You supposed to remove it? Well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Why the fuck would he lie about that? Like, dude, would he, he was jealous? Think, like, wouldn't he think JB people would had... find out? Like, people would find out one day that he passed away on that specific day, and like that would come back to him. He like, he knew that was nobody he was ever gonna fucking click that link to go try to fucking, you know, work with DCN Internet Radio. That's he just wanted cringe. to look like he had the sponsor. <laughs> That's fucking funny. And then it was like, you know, and, when people and, found and, out he was dead, they got a hold of his family and told him what was going on. And that's when fucking suddenly the videos of Eli, like, talking about his sponsor were all disappearing and shit. Because, like, Eli used to end, like, episodes, like, talking about how he was in contact with his sponsor and da 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 And there was this one time when Eli was having a mental breakdown. He said that his sponsor ordered him to take a two-week vacation or he would drop him as a sponsor. <laughs> and really, it was because Eli had to fucking go to some, like, mental health services thing for, like... A hot minute. They gave people an excuse. Yeah, but his his sponsor was already dead, and he always says, "I've already addressed this." He has never addressed it. He has never addressed the fact that he lied or why he did it. And he. Uh, he literally, like, once it came out that we found out that uh, Troy Brewer was dead, he all did like, a, oh, my God, Troy Brewer is dead, acting like it had just happened, when it had happened 10 months prior. And it's like, fool, we have videos of you talking about how you're in daily contact with him, or if you need to get into direct contact with him, contact me and I will help you get into direct contact with him. Like, through what? A Ouija board? And he gave him money, too, right? Yeah, um, Troy Brewer had loaned him 2500 bucks, And Eli, yeah. you know, oh, pardon the pun, ghosted him until he died. And uh, supposedly bought equipment with that, with that money. And he yeah, keeps bragging about his, it till this day. Yeah, that, that money uh, either went to his mics or his new PC or, or his laptop, whatever. <laughs> he keeps bragging about it till this day. He doesn't say it, but he keeps bragging about it how his equipment is so good. Yeah, and it's because he smart. borrowed twenty five hundred dollars from like his token black friend who just happened to die like two months later. Probably partially in part, not necessarily directly, but in part due to the stress of trying to fucking get a hold of Eli to get his damn money back. It's like, why would you need to borrow money, Eli? Like, don't you have your estate and this and that, and you got your own money? And uh, supposedly, bullshit. Eli's name ain't even on the estate because he has a yeah. he had a bankruptcy. Damn, son, you fucked up, Eli. So yeah, if, like, you a, if you have a bankruptcy, you can't you can't be uh, part well, of. The family so had can... to protect the trust, so they put it in his little brother's name. It's oh, like in his, it's in his mom and his aunt's, uh, his aunt, which is his uh, father's sister, I believe, and then uh, uh, lined up to go to Chris, Christos. But uh, yeah, Eli, and he's the real Jesus Christos, motherfucker. Like he's. Uh, <laughs> He thinks he's the Melissiah. The Melissiah. <laughs> well, really, like, Melissiah. <laughs> really, he's the he's the master of molestation. <laughs> the molestation. It's funny. Molestation. <laughs> but uh, 
and he's a pedophile. Dude, <laughs> like, what the fuck is his problem, bro? Like, his like, obsession with Pedro, bro. Like, and his girl, like, why the fuck? Like, he keeps prying on their personal life. Like, this dude is like obsessed. Why, why, why don't you have your girl on camera? Because fuckers like you stalk my channel. <laughs> Dude was so fucking cringe with that, yo. Come on, let, let's see your girl. You think I can masturbate to pictures of my own? Come on, let's see yours. <laughs> I got Mr. Yo. Ed over here. <laughs> you know, Dawn should have fucking came out and said something. To him, like, what the fuck? Oh, that was fucked up. She might have, like, because at first she didn't put up with as much of his shit. He had to, like, sink his claws in and isolate her and get her dependent upon him before he was able to break her. Because she used to fucking call him out on his shit and fucking be like, no, and then, like, leave the stream. There's a reason why she's nowhere near the anything he does online anymore. And you know he has to like beg and plead just to get her to do those members only fucking couch streams every six weeks. <laughs> like, I think I think that's just an imagination. Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm just up to the first uh, music break of his stream from this morning. I can't fucking believe this guy. Jesus, now he lit. Here's a guy who's known a girl online for a few hours of literally um, time with her for a few hours. The, the girl's claimed supposedly, I haven't, I still haven't gotten to see it that you know, her husband watches video games all day, he doesn't get, pay attention to her. Said nothing about him beating her, said nothing about him cheating on her, just that he's not giving her the attention she needs. And he, he also accused him of having erectile dysfunction. Okay, and he's recommending a divorce. Dude, not marriage counseling. He's not recommending marriage counseling, right? He's recommending divorce. And, and there's no abuse there or anything like that. Just, you know, it's not, you know, just they're living in a rut probably or something. Who knows? But Oh, you want to know what's even grosser? After a while, he's like, well, you've been married eight years and you're in Ohio where after 10 years you get full alimony benefits. So, I mean, if if you're waiting till you've been married for 10 years to finally pull the trigger on it, I mean, I, I guess that's one way to do it. Like insinuating wow. that she's, yeah. Like she's just biding her time until she gets full alimony. This shit's disturbing. This guy, man, I, how do we let this shit go? Yeah, I mean, we, I, it, it's, you know, people give me shit about my, uh, streams on him and shit this morning i got a little bit of, of a teasing you know we we'll call it teasing and all on another channel and i went up there i go but you guys are there you know and let's face it man this guy's got to be called out you know hey, hey, what up, buddy? and i'm willing to call let's, him let's be real he's he's a little more interesting than like what doordash is doing lately <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, he's interesting. That's what I, t I told him that in his stream one day. He goes, "Why do you people watch me?" And I go, "Dude, you're entertaining. I could sit there and watch um, reality TV or something, but I'd rather watch you. You entertain me with your the crap you put out there, and the, the trolls you have to deal with, and your haters, and then the way you react to it. It's just, it's." Fun. And then the trolls are really just like they're like the archivist guardians of like Eli's past, like so he can't <laughs> escape his truth. Like, so the new people know what's going on. Exactly. <laughs> we, we hold yep, the cliff yep, notes yep. with the evidence. Because <laughs> I've been uh, trolling uh, Eli since 2017. I'm, I'm one of the day one OGs. See, I've been following him since 2018 or 19. 19, I think. But I never trolled him, if you want to call it that, until five months ago. And really, even then, I tried not to. I went in there and tried to really interact because after watching him for years off and on i figured i knew i might know how to approach him so i went in and just said hey how, how are you and don doing he was cool and then i go maybe you should just ignore the trolls and he banned me called me a troll and from that day on five months ago that's when i started you know doing videos on him and stuff <laughs> what's up have it look, look if, if you've been banned by eli and called a troll that's a badge of honor it is it is not i, I mean, flex. 
and if you've ever been unbanned by him and then just rebanned again within like a day, you like a today. double ban of honor, like a double badge of honor. Oh, cool! Yeah. That's me. That's me. Yeah, I've I've got at least a dozen bands on my main channel. He, he hit me. He hit me again today. Yeah, he hit me. Uh, I think yesterday or so. so. I don't even yeah, bother yeah. to try to get unbanned anymore. I just make a sock knowing that I'm going to get one or two words in. And then I'm going to get banned. <laughs> well, I, I have a sock in it that he, he seems to be okay with, so that's cool. He was okay with my Economics 101 sock for the first stream. Oh, but then the second you? one, he, he banned me. <laughs> and I wasn't even trolling him. <laughs> I'm going to get back to this video, guys. So we'll see you later. I want, this is oh, a lot to watch here. This is... Thunder! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Eli's so condescending. And then acts like everyone else is fucking the asshole. <laughs> I just... I think Eli's might be the first male I've ever met that's like got borderline disorder. <laughs> Because usually that's, like, attributed to, like, it's almost like, I wouldn't say it's exclusively a female disorder, but it's, like, 30 to 1, you know? And, uh, he's definitely broken in the head. Yeah, I think he wants a new girlfriend. One that, uh... He, he, bed he, he's, he's not he's not happy I'll tell you that no and then when he's like we'll be married it's like Eli ain't never gonna marry her yeah he's not I don't, I don't even know why he keeps bringing that up maybe he wants people to say you're not getting married you're a fucking liar maybe he wants people to call him out I don't know He's definitely a character. I mean, he doesn't have character, but he, he is definitely one. he is one. <laughs> but I don't know what to make of him. And I've I've been fucking with this guy since late twenty seventeen. Like I, I, I was actually like one of my best friends uh, who uh, left YouTube because shit was just getting too real for him, and his his life went into a different path, and he didn't want to have it fucked up by this shit. He's actually the one who named him Cuck Eli. Was my That's buddy uh, NYC Korean? He was just like he came into the fucking Discord one day. He's like, "Hey, you guys gotta check out this cuck." <laughs> and he dropped a link and then like the next uh and there he's like yeah supposedly he's gonna interview big john who was kind of like a well-known person in the manosphere at the time well known enough that he ended up in a cnn interview like a few months later uh people called him big john and eli interviewed him and big john was like you know cordial and respectful towards him. This is before Eli was the lol cow that he is now. But NYC saw something in him. He's like, nah, dude, this this guy's a, a cuck lol cow. And NYC was kind of a legend in his own right. He had never released a single video, had over a thousand subs, legit subs, just from his comments in the community. Hmm. It was weird. Nick, and I can't can... create that kind of a poll. That's yeah. that's too uh Well people also wanted him to release content, but he never would. Though he did uh he did do a lot of behind the scenes work on some of my early content. I uh I taught him how to meme and he, he surpassed me almost overnight his memes were fucking gold mm -hmm. 
fucking he he didn't quite get memeing and I just kind of like gave him like the 101 school breakdown and then the next day it's like bro these memes are fucking hilarious what the fuck <laughs> and he just he would release and he watched like everything like any time a video or an event was going down all of a sudden NYC boom like we used to make fun of him like he was like the guy from uh grandma's boy jp like with like the 17 monitors and the fucking weird music and like seven keyboards <laughs> <laughs> like and he's just like strapped in a chair taking it all in <laughs> That's funny. but uh it's like you couldn't get nothing past him he like apparently what the stuff he did at his job didn't require a lot of attention it was like some sort of office crap <laughs> and he uh spent a lot of time on youtube while at work so it didn't even matter what time of day it was and uh man i was a legendary bastard and i i i missed the motherfucker <laughs> but i wish him the best he just disappeared out of nowhere he he was coming and going for a while and then he just never came back. Mm. And if he did, he didn't make his presence known to even me. And there was a time that I would have considered it in my left hand. Because I I mean I don't I jerk off right handed. He ain't my right hand. <laughs> <laughs> in my left hand. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But uh <sighs> he was such a good dude. No, we, we lost a lot of good people over the years. Sometimes they come back to say hi once in a while, and then you, you don't hear from them, from them for another year, 18 months, and each time it's a little longer, you know? They get tired of the bullshit, I'm sure. But then you got stupid motherfuckers like me and Joe Buddy who've been there since like day one and we're still there. <laughs> like I couldn't even die and get away from this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh man, it's just That's funny. Even death couldn't get me out of this bullshit. <laughs> That's some shit right there. But, you know, and I don't know. My, my ultimate dream is, is that just one day Eli would, would take both hands and grab his bottom lip and just wrench it over and behind his bald ass head and then swallow <laughs> swallow his head <laughs> and then jump off the golden gate bridge neck first because he has no head <laughs> <sighs> that would if he did that I'd be so happy After all the bullshit he's done, all the people he's harassed, the people he's had swatted, you know, just ordering DoorDash and crap to their houses. Yeah, he was involved in you motherfuckers years ago. <laughs> That's why you gotta be careful with your personal info. Because of people like you, I... They pretend to be friendly and whatnot, and then they turn around and do some dumb shit. No, his whole thing was he would he would get a hold of your email and backwards trace you, like through a uh, fucking been verified or some shit. He'd find your 
your email and then he'd find out the other emails associated with it and then he'd background check all those emails until he found your facebook and then once he had your facebook he had your name and then once he had your name and your state and your city and then suddenly he had your address you know and he's a little fucking rat spy yeah And then it's like, he claims that he was doxxed. He doxxed himself. Like, he was bragging about how he'd made his channel bulletproof. He was bragging to Joe Buddy and uh, JB Gunner and someone else. And he was showing his blocked uh, trolls list. He's like, I've just been blocking all these fucking trolls. And they're like, why did you block Woosh? And why did you block this person and block that person? And he's like, because they're a piece of shit. You know? <laughs> and, hey, there's some of my old accounts, you know, type shit. That's and funny. he, at that time, he had well over a thousand, like, banned people. Well, he scrolled too far down. And his blocked words list, like the words that would automatically be blocked in his chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His address and, it, and it, numbers. And his family's names, his ex-girlfriend's name. Wow. Um, fucking their addresses, their phone numbers, everything. Damn, and, then, yeah. and then like every variation of the word cuck that you could fucking like write. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't he he didn't think nothing of it at first. He's like, oh well they didn't see it. And JB's like, uh listen, Cuck, uh let me explain something about the internet to you. You see, there's this feature called rewind. And they can pause and then screenshot and we'd already done it <laughs> <laughs> we were already passing it around like fucking hotcakes through the servers when when you know because at first eli wasn't phased that for a split second he would flashed his blocked words and then he started getting scared and then people started showing up in the chat with sock accounts that had like you know 635 Upland Road, you know, and shit like that as their names and <laughs> fucking, you know, uh, names like of his mom and his brother and shit. <laughs> and, uh, and the reason why Eli has it out for that doctor so bad that he thinks is the same person as Ronaldo is because Ronaldo actually called his brother and recorded the phone call. And Eli's brother was talking about how Eli's a total loser. Everyone in the family wishes he'd get off of YouTube. No one in the family supports him. He's not even on the trust. He's just benefits from it. Wow. You know, and so that's why he has it He's out for moocher. the doctor so much. He's basically a moocher. Eli hasn't had a real job since... He briefly, like, filed overflow paperwork for a, a insurance firm that is owned by uh, family friends that knew his father. And then before that, Costco. Oh. And he, he quit Costco because they wouldn't promote him to, like, a form of management over people. So he couldn't control people. And he just eventually quit. Yeah, he wants to sit on his ass, control people. Yeah, he wants to to make you squirm under the pressure of whatever his stupid mood is at that moment. And then, like, he went full cuck. Like, he was trying to do these, like, networking events. Basically pyramid schemes like in-person pyramid schemes and like network businesses together and he would host these these events like 
at restaurants, like in the the you know big meal rooms you can rent out, like and shit, or uh, maybe they're like at motel at hotels. You know, they have like the conference room type shit. Mm-hmm. And so there's videos of this fucker wearing like Santa hats. Being oh, yeah, a little... I seen him. I seen it. Running around, hopping up, fucking singing songs and shit. Yeah, or wearing bunny ears and hopping around like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> and everyone's just kind of like, <laughs> like, like they showed up to their friend's little brother's birthday party, you know, just for to show support. You know, <laughs> like. Yeah, that's funny. You are hopping around entertaining old people. Yeah, or people that had businesses, you know, and probably had better things to do. You know, I was a Muppet. Oh, he... I mean, he's something. <laughs> but he, uh... He had this fake persona about him, like, even then... And I think they could all see through it. But they humored him. And then uh, he came to YouTube with uh, him and his lovely lady, Dana. Not the <laughs> same Dana that has been on his channel recently. That's that's uh, Tupperware Dana Kane. Yeah, yeah I, know, I know, I know. The alcoholic that got arrested in the Grand Canyon for peeing in a Tupperware bowl. <laughs> hey, man, don't knock her. She throws wild Tupperware parties. That's funny. But, uh, and she was a raging alcoholic. She's quite honestly doing a lot better for herself, so I'll give her that. That's good. You know, but, uh, she should have, she should have fucking chewed off fucking Eli's ear for what he's doing. She did. Thought well, she told him. She released videos of basically calling Eli a fucking damn idiot and a fool, and but she has a huge problem with Tammy. Like going back years, like they have their own beef, and um, so when Eli was suddenly being you know, sued by Tammy, uh, Dana latched on to him because she wanted, you know, Eli to fight Dana. Yeah. And she could vicariously, like, share in the spoils of, of victory, you know, with Eli, you know, against her enemy, even though she wouldn't get anything for it. Just the, the satisfaction of seeing someone beat that bitch, you know, type thing. Yeah. And... So when Eli settled with Tammy, it pissed her though. She fuck didn't like off. it, yeah. And uh, so yeah, basically, uh, so she left his side immediately. Did some videos, called him a moron, called him a pussy, called him spineless. You know, all things that are all true. <laughs> Very true. And uh, definitely a fucking spineless snake. Fucking warm. Uh, oh, he's totally a snake. And when he first came around, like he used to do uh, li uh, pre-recorded videos. And then when he discovered streaming because of Jamie, <laughs> it was like the bug bit him. And he would stream every day or twice he a day. He discovered gold. It was his crack. That's funny. But back then, you could, you could get a word in edgewise on him. He wasn't as controlling of the chat. Like if you fucking said something that really fucking pissed him off, or or was just really fucking obscene, yeah, he'd fucking ban you. But for the most part. He he tolerated people being in the chat. And the reason why people started restreaming him is because he eventually just banned everyone. And so no and then he had so many blocked words 
that like they would get mistaken for regular words by the fucking algorithm and you would write something completely innocuous and it would get blocked. Uh-huh. Like he couldn't say anything. And then he put the minute delay in. And so it's like between the minute delay, the blocked word list and the fact that you're banned, no one could talk. And so people started restreaming him just to give people a place to be able to comment on it. Yeah, to communicate, yeah. And what he doesn't realize is that if he just opened up his chat, even if he ignored everyone and didn't have their chat posted on his screen, like even if he didn't acknowledge their existence, as long as they were able to chat, they would go to he his just, channel. He, he can't. He can't stand the criticism. He can't and he's such a narcissist. People. He can't yeah. ignore it. Yeah, he can't stand people talking about him. So yeah, he has to respond. So although yeah, he'd rather not see it. He would hide him. But that also is now yeah, why his causes, like main chat causes, person is Nightbot. Yeah, that causes more to people to talk about him. Right, but they go elsewhere to do it. Yeah. And then he'll be like, fine, I don't want you here anyways. You're here for the wrong reasons. Go over there. But then he gets mad that there's more people over there than in his chat. Because no one, mm-hmm. even the people watching on his channel, can't fucking say shit half the time. <laughs> and so it's like when you watch an Eli stream, like the number one commenter is Nightbot. That's funny. And it's like... Uh, there was this one stream where he had, I don't remember who it was, but it was two two older, like, 40-year-old women. And they were going at each other. They were fucking pissed off. It was a terrific drama stream. And Eli was just kind of hosting it, like like a talk show. And I literally like, told Eli, it's like, Eli, you might have found your calling. Like, people would pay you for this bullshit just to let... If, if you used your channel, like Jerry Springer, like Jerry Springer, and he still does that final thought thing all the time, but like Jerry Springer would like come on and pretend like we're going to help these people's problems. And really it was just a place to let people brawl and make asses of themselves. And then for Jerry Springer to be like, here's my mundane observation. That's about as vague as a, a fortune cookie take care of each other god bless you know that's eli eli's jerry springer and we're, we're nice. like we're trying to tell eli it's like bro fuck the life coaching thing maybe maybe use it as a gimmick you know for your your show but just be a host for drama and let people fucking come in as like neutral ground and hash out their problems and he felt like it was a mockery of him. And it's like, well, maybe in some ways, but really it's a mockery of the people that you put on your show. <laughs> and his pride and ego wouldn't let him be circus television. He is the main circus. He would have been the ringmaster. It's the Flex Springer show. <laughs> like, he, he, he would have been the ringmaster of, like, you know, the, the Eli Springer show. Instead of people chanting Jerry, they would have been like, Eli, Eli, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> and he would he have been it. like, we're going to have someone with a speech impediment that says the N-word a lot. Fighting with a black dude named Lurch today on <laughs> Eli. <laughs> and people would have ate it up. And then he could have like ended the show like, you know, I think what we've learned is people are different and we need to learn how to respect each other's differences. Because if we can't come together on our differences, we'll never realize that we're all the same. Take care of each other. Have a good night. You know, he could have just done shit like that. And people would have eaten it up and thrown him fucking shekels. 
<laughs> maybe not as many shekels as he would want, but they would have they would have paid him for it. And it was beneath him. And it's like, bro, you're the bottom rung. There ain't nothing beneath you. <laughs> I wish he would have done it. That sure would have been cringe. It would have been cringe, but Eli wouldn't have always been the focus of that cringe. He would have been the host of that cringe. <laughs> I mean, he's still the host of that cringe, but it's his cringe. But. Yeah, he's always on the other side of the uh, fighting stick. Well, you got to realize there was a time when him and JB, who were like on again, off again enemies, they made a little peace deal and they decided to, to collab, to do a show together. And they called it the King and the Cuck Show. Now, who do you think the cuck was? <laughs> and it lasted three episodes before Eli got tired of being the, the uneducated liberal getting slapped around by a bunch of smarter conservatives. And he fucking flipped out and decided he didn't want to be the cuck no more. <laughs> I have a King and the Cuck t-shirt by the way I love it Jamie actually designed it That's funny. but uh, so I have a t-shirt with an animated Eli and JB on it and Eli's looking all scared and JB's looking all intimidating at him <laughs> and it says King and the Cuck show and it looks like Looney Tunes art that's awesome and um uh, But, uh, <sighs> fucking Eli, you could have been Jerry Springer. Instead, you're just a spineless people, fucking people could write a book cuck. on that fucking moron. Hmm? People could write a book on his, on his ass. I wouldn't the, write a book on him. The YouTube adventures of fucking Eli. <laughs> uh, there'd be too many chapters I know That'd be like the the Facebook era where he was trying to sell Oil diffusers to his friends On Facebook Jesus That was when he left YouTube for six months um, We found out He was doing Facebook videos <laughs> And Joe Buddy started Rebroadcasting those and when Eli Found out it lured him back to YouTube. And he's been here ever since. Life coach. Life coach. Life coach. I mean, there was also you? the, like, one day Eli decided he was going to drop the life coach label and just be Eli. That lasted a day. <laughs> but everyone was really supportive of this idea. <laughs> No, no, you guys can't tell me what to do. No, 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 no. The fact that you guys think this is a good idea means it's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to help people. I know better than any of you guys. I've helped lots of people. Name one. <laughs> um, so confidential, I can't tell you. But it helps lots of people. Um, my lady baby, Don. <laughs> uh, bro, she no longer has a job. She can't drive anymore. She's got a chronic crippling ankle injury. <laughs> severe alcoholism. <laughs> well, she already had that. Um, how have you improved her life <laughs> exactly? <laughs> Her family has disowned her, you know. Your mom oh, hates because her. Because of Eli's fault. Your mom hates her. Nikki, what's up, buddy? Yeah, whatever he just said, it's all 100% true. <sighs> what, someone asked if what I'm saying is true? Yeah, he said, is this serious? Bro. 
nobody lies about Eli. There's no point. The truth is worse than what we could come up with. I have Eli's prom pictures when he had hair. He looked like fucking Eddie Munster. <laughs> Jack said he's got Eli naked pictures from Plenty of Fish. <laughs> I mean, he's sick he's he's covering his 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 doodle, you know. But he covering his doodle. <laughs> but he's only got to use one hand, and it doesn't look like he's trying very hard to keep it out of view. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, cupping uh, the warm, cupping the warm out there. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I I won't give those out. But I know someone who will. But it's like I'm not gonna revenge porn him. But I'll I'll that would be point fun. the person. I'll point people who will to people. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, if like they that's want to, that's not like, I can I can point them where to go. To yeah, get that's, them. A, that's not necessary. <laughs> but he's already yeah. fucked himself, so. I mean, it's like, I'm not trying to be, like, as bad as Eli is. Yeah, don't do it. I just make memes, you know? <laughs> I make funny <laughs> little videos and shit. You know, and put his face on women who are like, I have herpes. <laughs> put his face on Hitler and stuff. Oh, my God. <sighs> or, or even better, gay Hitler, and then it says Thieg Heil next to it. <laughs> I'm gonna lose his shit. Well, you know, because he's he's got that lisp, so it's like sometimes we we spell stuff with a th. Like we'll be like walking <laughs> with purpose. <laughs> Thieg Heil instead of Thieg Heil. <laughs> you got the heating my purposeful works you guys like a bunch of haters you're damaging my brand no <laughs> Eli you're our brand we own you Eli you are our content oh wait he don't, he don't, he don't own no brand he forgot to pay for it like that's what Eli doesn't realize is he thinks he makes content, but he he just makes an ass out of himself, and we make content out of it. <laughs> like the Eli brand is is ours. Like Cuck Eli is our brand. <laughs> and uh, and by ours, he can be y'all's too. Like we. We don't claim some sort of like monopoly on this. Like <laughs> he's he's all of our cuck. He's <laughs> everybody cuck. Like every community that gets absorbed into the drama sphere, which is what we call what this thing has become, which I did coin the word, um, because no one could agree what to call it anymore after the MGTOW and the Manosphere merged and then the Wolf Pack and the the people that were trying to expose uh, Corey Feldman, and they merged in, and and then you had the CSA survivor community merging, and we didn't know what to fucking call it anymore. It wasn't the Manosphere. There were suddenly all these forty year old broads in it. The cockatrice. <laughs> cockatrice. And it was it was just all drama, and originally it had been the Manosphere. And I was just like, well, now it's drama. It's the drama sphere. Mm -hmm. And you still hear Eli use that word. Like, he'll be like, in the drama sphere, I, he needs to pay me a royalty every time he uses that damn word. <laughs> but, uh. Hold on, I got a phone call. Yeah, I feel you. I heard the buzz. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm. Um... If I could see the chat, I'd I'd address the chat, but I don't even know how many people are here. Could just be Nikki. Could be no one. I don't know. Um. 
But yeah. Um, Eli. <laughs> you know, and then after them, the sub for sub community. And then after them, uh, the true crime community. And then after them, I would say probably the gig community. And I mean, there's been, there's been fractions of other communities that have, you know, glanced off and some of the people end up in, but these are like the communities that like, where things kind of collided and there's been like a, a prolonged overlap and absorption and the drama sphere just absorbs everything it crashes into. And so you'll come to YouTube with like a completely different reason and content type that you were absorbing and you know watching and then pretty soon you're you're on the Kochi Lai hate train in the drama sphere which is a bunch of fragmented groups of people that also hate each other because they have long bad histories that used to be friendly and then they flip flop and turn on each other and then pieces are established and then so sometimes people who hated each other become friends like Susie and SB and then other times people who were friends become enemies like Scotty and Jamie now <laughs> it's just uh, and it's so hard to keep track of sometimes Especially the bigger it gets and the more these communities have overlapped on each other and absorbed into each other and so and I'm I'm just still rambling for the chat's sake, you know, so there's not dead air. I I, I know that Flex is on a phone call and he probably can't hear this. I just didn't want to leave y'all with a bunch of dead air. But yeah, I don't know about the eclipse. And uh, Jay was saying that we're not going to see like the total darkness. I don't really care about it. We had the fucking great North American eclipse like a couple years ago where where I'm at was like 95% coverage. And oh. it just like the whole ground looked like... Like, you know when you looked at a, an old monitor through a camera and it has those lines of dark and light? You know, that kind of scroll up and down on the screen. Yeah. That's what it looked like on the ground. Yeah, because the uh, it's still the sun rays are shining through. Like, yeah, like you, there was still sun, but it was and it was weird. Like the air felt really weird. And uh, like you could kind of taste like this acidic flavor to the air. And I think really? that might have just, yeah, I just think that might have been because, um, like, the best place you could be was, like, northern Oregon for that one. And I'm in southern Washington, so I basically had a near front. I, I was, like, the second row, you know? I, was, I wasn't I was in the front row seat, but I didn't need, like, the Gallagher fucking plastic to stop the watermelons from hitting me, you know? But I was close enough. <laughs> and, uh... I think I just age doxed myself with a Gallagher reference. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just kind of kept rambling while you were gone about the communities, how they subsequently came in and collided and merged just to, so there wasn't a bunch of dead air while you were gone. No, nah, you're good. Thank you. Bro. But, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, we've been hearing about this damn eclipse for weeks, and they're like, be sure you get 
extra water and food and emergency supplies. And it's like, bro, it's a five minute fucking event. <laughs> uh, people are driving out, I guess, for it. There's going to be blood orgies in the streets. <laughs> uh, may maybe if you're part of the Illuminati. <laughs> Sacrifice. I don't think it'll be in the street in. though. <laughs> you know, it's like this is going through Texas. We don't play that shit here. <laughs> but uh I don't know. It's just I mean, the gig community isn't the last community that'll collide into the drama sphere and end up having fragments of it absorbed into the Eli hate train. <laughs> it's just currently the most recent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus, the way he tried to, like, step his way in. <laughs> oh, he always community. does. Well, look at what he did with Christina, how he tried to fucking force his help on her or, or on MJ. You know, that's just within the last two weeks. He's yeah, that was horrible. Force, he's tried to force his way in on them. He does it to every community. He tried to take over the sub for sub community. Back when YouTube was changing it from a, a thousand subs to 2000 subs to be monetized. Mm -hmm. And he was like at eight something or seven something and so he got hooked up with this community run by a dude named uh james cox and well, i was asking to ask you about a community member a reborn community a reborn community yeah i as jack if he remembers the reborn community getting tangled in drama I mean, I remember the the Buddha Raiders. <laughs> I don't remember the Reborn community. I just, I remember the sub for sub community. Because Eli tried to take over uh, James Cox's community while at the same time getting enough fake subs from people. Because what they were, all these channels were doing was they were trying to get monetized before the change. And so they were like, hey, you sub to me, I'll sub to you. We can all get to a thousand that way and get monetized before the change. And so Eli was all about this. Well, Eli got up to like 970 fucking subs. And it was like a day left. And he was at the rate he was going, he was going to hit a thousand. So we made a conscious effort to prevent this. We remembered that because at this point Eli had started banning us and banning our socks. But it was it was mostly just the manosphere at the time. The manosphere and the purple pill guys. And which was Jamie's crew. And so we were like, well we have all these socks that are like sub to Eli where he would make it that you had to sub to his channel to talk, but then he'd ban you like one word in, and then we would switch to another sock and go in there and fucking say something else to him, you know? Hmm. And hey, so he had all these socks of ours that were part of his road to a thousand. And we're like, dude, guys, guys, let's just unsub our socks from him. And so we dropped him like well over a hundred fucking subs in the course of an hour. That's funny. And he was like so furious. He was like devastated to the point of rage. Like he, he couldn't figure out if he was angry or sad or spiteful. He was all Dude, over the place. He's very spiteful, bro. MJ rejected his fucking donation so he <laughs> called him a scammer he said mj's probably scamming you gotta like, realize what? this was back when eli would still consider working with people and communicating with them that's fucking crazy somebody's that's rejecting your donation is a scammer uh -huh. right 
Wouldn't he, like, gladly take your shit if he was scamming? Hey, this guy's fucking nuts. Right, and he didn't have no fucking thing to donate to him anyways. He was just virtue signaling, like, hey, you could stay on my couch until I throw you out after the weekend. He but, wasn't even offering him to stay at his couch. He said maybe uh, one of my supporters right, right. Let should stay on their couch. Like, what? You ain't got no oh, because fucking he supporters. knew that MJ he knew that MJ wouldn't come to California. But Eli wasn't gonna give him a dime. It was only once he rejected he's like, I was gonna find like a way to donate you fifty dollars and it's like, No, you weren't. But um so we got Eli back down to like I wanna say like the mid 800s like on the day that he needed to have a thousand and he wasn't able to reach the thousand and he still to this day claims that he had enough subs and that YouTube just didn't monetize him but he did not have enough subs we fucking pulled all our subs our socks out of him and uh he uh, he was so furious. In fact, he was so furious and held on to this like disdain that by the time he reached 2,000 subs and was able to monetize his channel finally, he he still held such animosity towards us, like he was like mocking us that we weren't able to stop him from being monetized and. Like, literally, like, people were just like, bro, everyone uses ad blocker. He ain't gonna make shit. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? But. I mean, that's just some of the. The Eli history for your asses. All of it true. None of it embellished. Some of it probably missing details because all of it that, that's how not embellished it is. He's just he's our cuck. Days of our cuck. <laughs> As our cuck turns. <laughs> Cock a do to do. Oh, he used to do that. Fucking like every show he would start off, he'd be like, he'd call himself the morning rooster. And he'd be like, rooster. <laughs> what the fuck? And then yeah. he would snap his fingers, and Dana would be over there with the soundboard and push a button, and you'd hear, cock a doodle doo. <laughs> And he would start and end every fucking show with it. That's funny. He, here's the thing. He ain't ever... It was always in the afternoon or evenings. He ain't never do nothing in the morning. How the fuck are you the morning rooster? <laughs> and then... When he switched his channel to... Uh, he called it a grip on life. With Coach Elias Malice. And he would start... And end every show with like, you know, to help grip. you get a grip, 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 grip on your life. And he would like do this motion like he was milking a fucking cow with yeah. each grip. <laughs> That's funny. Everyone's making fun of that. <laughs> yeah, Jenny was around at that time. She remembers the grip. Yeah. <laughs> he was gripping a tip. He was gripping the whole shaft, bro. When he was doing the, he'd be pulling. To, he'd do air guitar and shit like that to his own shitty royalty free music. At the time, he still do that. Not as much. Now, so. He used to really jam out with it, though, like some, some 80s air guitar. Like, wow, you know, in the face and shit. <laughs> He's such a clown. <laughs> He's 
such a clown. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Damn, this stream's on like four and a half hours. Yeah. I need to get I gotta take my pill regimen, get some food in me, and get my day going. Well, in here, there's post um, an hour ago, or, and there's only two hours ago. Oh, when? I feel like I've been here longer than that, Jenny. I was on here earlier with Jamie. Yeah, you were, and then you were like the only one there, and I was singing the Jenny show. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I had to do few things, so. This is his post an hour ago. Why would me for placing my lady Twitter someone? I swear some people are watching me very closely and we question my channel every second. <laughs> this is kind of creepy and weird. Oh, well, time to move on with my day. He hasn't you... moved on with his day. No. There's one two hours ago. Dawn is my princess, and she will always get everything from me. I would always sacrifice whatever it takes to take good care of her, and always ensure she's safe. Safe from what? Well, well cared for and loved. She's old. She old. She has earned this as well as she is. And that's why I chose her as my life partner and soulmate. Over any but anyone else. When he was doing the taps, he we jacked a lot of them. Or they we jacked him. Like first day. So Yeah. Eli, he'll whenever he posts about, all right, well, I'm not going to, like, pay attention to this. He is glued to it. Yeah. Like, whenever he says he's not doing something, he's doing something. Whenever yeah. he says he hasn't seen the whole thing, he's watched it twice. Yeah. He's probably watching this show right now. So. Uh, take my pills to keep me alive. That's uh, that's what he was probably watching us when we were talking about uh, him uh, white knighting for his for his girl with that yeah. post. Yeah. Eli. That was just his excuse to to kick out any support. Yeah. He didn't care that someone was white knighting for a female. He does it all the time. But uh, all right, you crazy kids. I gotta get yeah, I'll jump see. on uh I'll jump on some other time and uh regale you with more Eli bullshit if you guys want. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. Anytime, bro. I'm gonna go. Right. I'm gonna go relax myself a little bit. Yeah. I need to catch a delivery. I'm a little sleepy. See you later. Over. You got it, yeah, Jenny. We'll see you later. I'll be doing a lounge a little one. bit later. You have a good one, Jenny. You have a good one, Flex. You got it, Jack. We'll talk to you later, buddy. All right, man. We'll see you guys later. I might go out and start a start one up later. If I go out. <laughs> Damn, I think I'm definitely due for a little napper. I'll see you guys later.